Okay, now we're we're on. Hello everyone and welcome to the library where you can discover your next adventure. I am the author and tonight we join the USS Stavanger, the olive branch of the Shackleton to play Star Trek Adventures, a tabletop RPG used by our friends at Modifius. Every week we continue our adventures on the wild and wonderful frontier of the uh, Federation. Insert small talk and ramp up to the game. Wait. Testing. Correct. Yeah, that's correct. Testing. Hello, world. <laughs> are we on? We are on. T today on, let's see how effective uh, Three's internal reactor is. Um, <laughs> yes. So yeah, we took off last last week because apparently a someone decided to have a birthday last week. The entire mm -hmm. nation of America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, I wasn't going to try to compete. With that. So, oh, here we are now. Uh, okay, ignoring that those numbers. And on that note, Oh, let's get uh, back to adventure with season one, episode 27, Checkpoint Kelvin. What? We, we don't we don't need the captain in the middle of crisis. What are you talking about? Oh, and our second officer's gone. Maybe we do captain need the captain back. Uh... What do you mean our second officer's gone? Yeah, right sure. there. Oh, there he is. Sorry, first up. I don't know why it's the second officer. I meant first officer. <laughs> All right. Sweat map. All right, layer. And so ribbon. So, when we last left off, the USS Stavanger er, was chasing after er, the green vessel, the Rav Les Lesret. At, uh, wow, and we are really not starting off strong. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Wow. To 13 already? Jeez. Uh, what the uh, heck is this? Uh, just two threat. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, the Stavanger Larry was chasing after the, uh, uh, Rev Les Threat at, uh, a Breen vessel, oh, that was, that they had, a uh, standoff with, uh, with over top of a, uh, mysterious Nerosian and colony and the subsequent green outpost that was uh, situated there after chasing off the uh, vessel 
investigating more of the planet, it, uh, a crew found out that the brain in have been looking into the have been and looking into and monitoring uh, Federation fleet each movements and charting them down and setting a suggested course for some sort of invasion in out of Klingon space. Space. So wanting in more answers, there's the uh, captain in and ordered a pursuit course ours to to uh, to get to uh, the Revelous Threat uh, before she can and repair herself. Guys, I chase her down to uh, this particular our uh, uh, star our uh, system with a Class J ice giant uh, near the edge of the system. And the Revelous Threat in some sort of a small mobile uh, uh, repair dock on getting repaired. And just as you you warped in, several uh, 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 several Breen frigates, the Pel Thrall uh, class, uh, appeared within the icy see and reflective ring system and drained all of your power. So Is it kind the, of skirmish if they not sorry, skirmish standoff if they shot at us? Uh not really. They did take skirmish? the it, it it's a skirmish now. But also, oh yes, uh, all of our power is going away. Yes, the Starfish are currently he has no power as as everything starts powering down, and lights start flickering and dimming. Consoles oh, oh start are fading away. Uh, you no longer have have warp, impulse, or phaser power. Uh, transporters and sensors there's have increased comp range, and shields are also down. Um, does this also affect me because I am plugged into the computer currently? Uh, I'll make that a roll. Oh boy! <laughs> is this like fitness engineering? Is that what this would be? It'll be fine. Fitness engineering. If one and for or you three, as you are directly plugged into the. A, a computer that is slowly powering down and switching to backups. Okay. Um, well, that's a 12 to start with. Uh, <laughs> Let's see here. Focus in Borg tech, because that's the thing that's getting affected, is my Borg tech. I'll take it. Excellent. Okay. Uh, you know what? You don't have enough for it yet. Take, take one more. I'm going to roll three. Three for Mr. Three. Uh, okay. Uh, boop. Whoop. Hooray! <laughs> You manage it to uh, siphon off off some of your your power and cut the connection before, or or anything drastic can happen to you. But the computer connection and is is down. Uh, uh you can't and use the direct neural interface until oh the power issues have been resolved. Oh, okay, cool. Good, good, good thing I also have practice flying the ship without that. Mm -hmm. Assuming my buttons work, because it's a touch screen, and we're out of power. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Three. Do we have internal comms? Uh, well, possibly. The, the ship's not completely depowered, right? It's just... Uh, main power errors down. You are on emergency backups. Okay. Okay. So we have emergency backups. 
But it's okay, so but emergency backs. Still work. Yeah, screen still will work, but uh, emergency backups is not enough uh, to power some of the really fun tech, like phasers and, or shields. And, and shields and. And technically, our combat is still work without. Yep. Oh yeah, because those are th those are device device. Yeah, those right. Are devices they have their own power system. Okay. Oh good. So engineering can tell us, hey, uh, we got a problem. <laughs> Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, the power is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge, I don't know noticed, if you guys The emergency know. red <laughs> lighting is on. <laughs> Captain, shall we return fire? With emergency power. We can lost yeah, torpedoes. Those don't require power. Captain, what are your orders? We can't risk, we can't risk provoking further. As of right now, no weapon systems will be fired until we have power back up again for anything to be sure. Are they continually power. draining our power still, or are, we just, are they done and we're just out? Um, they're continually draining in, in power. The uh, weapon is still active, so every round something something else is, is going to go down until you can resolve it or get them to stop. Right. So we need to do something to get them to stop, I would think. Are all of the ships That's like combining to drain the power? Uh, unknown. Caps on combat. Engineering, I want solutions to this power drain. See what I can figure out, Captain. <laughs> Captain, I would recommend a spread of photon torpedoes into the ice. I probably would. Um, about the technology. Balls. Right now, we're not firing on Mr. Penix. If we fire on them, they will fire on us, and we don't have shields or the power necessary to raise them. Sir, we're not going to get power back unless they stop draining our energy. Well, there's a solution that doesn't also end with their with them firing on us before we can do anything about it. Does the Gettysburg still have power? Gettysburg is with us. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, so we're all taking so Gettysburg at, at, on a joy right. ride. Right. Yeah, okay. It is big. All right, what about shuttles? Uh, Shuttles else might still have power. They weren't connected to the ship at any point. Uh, I don't know, but Ortea, how are you going to solve this energy drain pain issue? That's a valid question. Ground engineering, I think all the lights are going down, how the warp core is starting to slow, do slow down. Alarms are going off. We know anything about the weapon specifically? We just it is draining our power. Uh, uh, you would be vaguely familiar with it because it was as used in the latter part of the Dominion in war, and uh, you do have an advantage edge of countering tactics. Uh, let me get my traits button on here. Yeah, if you, if you need a perfect techno battle, uh, like Benix said, we have some ideas up in the uh, the Discord. Yes, let's battle. Only have 150. Okay, those are our traits. Oh, okay. Oh, our fighters were ready to launch. Yeah. Yes. And those guys have independent power systems. 
Dude, off-road warp coils is so epic. So, oh, Phoenix, if you wanted to launch, get uh, get get the fighters errors out, you absolutely could. Captain, can we launch fighters? Again, I don't want to take any hostile actions against the breed until we either have our shields back, or they t or they tell us what they want from us, other than to get away from them, other than to just destroy us or get away get us get away from us. Hailing them. Can we hail them? Do we have power to do so? Mm, barely. I, I, I could maybe. Wait, hang on. I have my subspace ready, don't I? Can we use that? If we need to. Uh, are, do we want to try talking to them, or do we want to try resolving the power issue? Get the power issue resolved in case. They, 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 they pick up. Say, surrender, or we're going to, we're going to annihilate you. And we can't do anything if they decide to annihilate us. All right, uh, uh Mertea, what's, what, what, what's your brilliant idea? I'm researching. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at the Discord. Just already. Don't like that noise. Danger. Did somebody just pay for a complication? Yes. <laughs> Chat. Is it cool? Hey, stop being an instigator. It's probably Sherelle. Why would Cyril hurt us? It is. Because he's, he's gone. It's he's fine. going to, if he hurts us, he hurts his sensors. This is true. Valid. Uh, let's, let's get some dice. Dice rolling. Insight, engineering. Uh, a little while, get kind it, of obscure tech. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Martea, you can give me an Insight Engineering Difficulty 3 to maybe see if you have any, any, any brilliant ideas off the top of your head. Nice. Okay. Could I use MacGyvering as a foot? Because I feel like that's going to have to be a solution here. Uh, yes. That would definitely be a solution here. Uh, do you want to buy extra dice? Do yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, how, how many more do you want to buy? You have one momentum, and you can always um, freight threat. Okay, let's let's just do one more for threat, so three total. Okay. Roll them bones. That was the wrong button. One second. Nice. Nice. All right. So, oh, there's there's one or two directions you can and, and take this. Either you can and stop. You, you can stop or reverse there's the uh, energy drain so your natural power levels will come back up or you can and just double down on energy production production and overclock and, and basically make more energy than they can steal mm. I think 
We're gonna try to just stop it. I'll, is there, would there possibly be a way we could reverse the weapon back? Or at least look into the idea of that. Feedback loop. Feedback loop. Feedback or loop. two momentum, and, and you have an idea on how to do a feedback loop. Nice. Okay. Would you like to spend momentum. that? That's fun. Yes. That's pretty fun. Okay. <laughs> hey, so easy way <laughs> uh, you can, easy way you can, and just uh, polarize as the uh, hull plating in. In, and that will stop the uh, weapon from affecting your power systems. If you, if you do that, and you can and reverse the polarity of your EPS systems, you can and create a resonant feedback pulse. Also, that will travel back along the uh, weapons in, in waves and and disable the uh, ship's fire again. But it's going to be a little more. It's going to be a little uh, more or tricky. Higher difficulty, higher complication, but bigger reward. What's life without a little risk, eh? I, yeah, we got. I say before we throw P back into their ship to destroy them, we make it so that we can regenerate our power and get shields up as soon as this is all taken care of. Or you can do both. Maybe you can get the power back and then press a button and send that flow back to them, you know? I don't think they're going to stop attacking us until they get smacked in the mouth. It's valid, yeah. Yeah. I've seen get the damage to us. So, Marte, you're in engineering, you have these two options. Uh-oh. Hello? Hello? Oh, there, there, oh. She there she is. Hello? Okay. Now we can hear you. It's back? All right. What? It's back. back. Someday I will have something that actually works. Uh, we it need to get that that crowdfunding new PC it, going, honestly. But it wasn't. But it wasn't getting enough from you to actually broadcast. Okay, so uh, um, is that what? So Marte, you have these two options: okay, you're down yes, engineering, lights, <laughs> lights, lights are failing. What's going on? Uh, repeat last transmission. Taking a big risk. Big... Oh, my oh gosh. okay. We could not write this better. Oh, we... can you? <laughs> Say thing now. She said big risk, big reward. I think we're doing the feedback thing. I think so. Feedback thing. Aye. So I... This is like an SNL bit that just keeps recurring. It is. <laughs> The engineer is the only one whose comms don't work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <that. laughs> and, uh, Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. No. Yeah. 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 Do yeah. thing. Oh my gosh. Do the thing. Ah, okay. Do the yes, please. Let's. <laughs> Wowzers. Yeah, get get those get those die. And Captain, you can assist with presence command. Nice. Okay, that means we gotta reroll. Leave an ounce as a bonus. She's got bold too, right? So that's another that's mm -hmm. another reroll. She does max. Yeah. yeah, so there will be two rewards. Yeah. Reward, one from me, one Solid. From me. How many dice do you want? Oh. 
might want the full hand. The problem is I want a lot, but also I don't want to give you a lot of threat. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, we're used to it. Hey, big, big risk, big reward. I mean, you have two assists. You know what? Yeah, and... okay, we're just gonna go... We'll do, um, two extra, so four total, then. Aye. And we have the uh, focus and EPS, so... I'll take it. You just cut out mid-sentence, what was that? Uh, you have advantages you can apply, like your your engineering team, you've got the green tactic, green counter tactics. Yeah, I think lowering that comp is probably in our best right. bet, since we have two assists, right? That, <laughs> that is what I was going to suggest, yes. Yeah. Two assists, two rerolls. Yeah, so I think lowering that comp is probably advised. Just the confirmation for And here are your traits. Oh no. <laughs> Cass, you there? Yes. We can't, we, we can't hear you again. Hear me now? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh my gosh, I'm like the guy in the Verizon. Right. Can you hear me now? I'm not even doing anything, is the thing, so it's not like. I don't, it's an issue. Yeah, okay. I'll troubleshoot it again. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Uh, engineering team, aim, aim, are they going towards complication or diff? Uh, complication. Uh, you also have, you have all these other traits. It's on screen. Any, anything that can. Anything that can help. It just closed. Why did you... <laughs> do... It's uh -huh. on the top of the journal. Yeah. And there it is again. On the top. Thank you. I'm bound to struggle, does it? <laughs> I mean, probably. I dare say, <laughs> count green tactics, and we. Okay. Um. Yeah, that could bring down the uh, difficulty. Right, back down to diff one, but at the uh, Breen have been in advancing their attack, so diff three. Lovely. Okay. But that did chew up some of my threat. All right, I think that is as good as we're gonna get, probably. <laughs> Roll them. Two nat twenties. 
they have two of them. Yep. So, Marte, you can reroll one, one d20. There we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have momentum. Yay. You have a lot of uh, uh, momentum as as very, very quickly. Uh, what does, does this procedure look like as you you are polarizing the hall and getting ready? A, a to right. reverse the polarity. Lots of pushing. pushing. <laughs> lots okay. of button, lot, lots of buttons in, in, in pushing as as you're rerouting things and 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 pumping power into the uh, hall. Uh, right. Blue electricity, a. He crackles across the uh, uh, hall, all oh, fighting the green green in electricity. Uh, so that counteracts your max max power. Uh, for one momentum and for power, one momentum for shields. You can bring in both those back up to full. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, not that much. Sixteen. Just sixteen. Or is it eighteen? I can't see it. Your shield's back up to full. Power's back up to full. But we haven't haven't seen in how the uh, brain will, will respond yet. Uh, oh, uh, you can right. uh, you need to call them. Yeah. you can keep we the initiative, or you can and and we wait and see what happens. Uh, keep the initiative, Mister Vanix. Crack some of that ice. Roger that. Shoot momentum and keep the initiative. All right, all right, Venice, you are cracking this ice here. Great. You want me to use phasers or photons? Quantums. Full spread. Quantums, Quantums full them. spread. You're we're going Please hardcore. I Instantly generating the captain's boat, guys. <laughs> Instantly generating three three <laughs> threats. My boat. <laughs> um, you are kind of uh, of off range for it, but you might be able to uh, work around it. Right, 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 right. You just want to hit the e the ice field, right? All right, not necessarily the ships in the zone. If the ships are in are within the blast radius of the quantums, we hit the ice. That's on them. <laughs> yeah, are there some nice juicy iceberg icebergs that would turn into ice shrapnel very nicely? Uh, uh are yeah, the there's depth charging the, yes. the green. Is that what's happening? Yes. Yeah, yes. Some green are about to have a very nasty headache. As this will all detonate the uh, ice in the. A, a field. Um, let's see. It's class S three. So if you can and put three breaches is on this this zone, you can and pulverize all the all the ice in that zone and move the cover. And hopefully, also hit them in the process. For extra momentum, you can and and also hit them in in the process. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and uh, take a threat. All right. 
focus in shipboard tactical systems or combat tactics? I'll take combat tactics. All right. Rerolling that with bold. You could also consider this a mighty mo situation. Mighty mo. Mm -hmm. Level an island. Uh. Uh, weapon security from the scavenger. All right. As a, a flare of torpedoes, I was, I was rocket out and impacts X on the edge of the size field, you know, exploding furiously. Go ahead and roll that at, at damage. See how many breaches we can get in the size field. Cool. As scale three rocks. Oh, oh no. Great roll ambush there. Touched my boat. <laughs> they touched my boat. <laughs> I think that'll do it, Captain. <laughs> you want to throw that extra momentum in there to give him a little something extra? I mean, my boat is gas. It uh, should be funny to do that. I would say, yeah. If that, that momentum was there before I rerolled, that was the that was the spend. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So you have one. So, so you have one one left over. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Uh, don't know how many points this has. Uh, yeah, that that does three. Three breaches is to this ice field, held as you just shatter all the rocks in. As you, you you create a giant hole in the uh, ring where these, these these ships are, um, so you have one momentum, yeah, one momentum, one threat that uh, you can, and and apply that spread damage, edge to, to the uh, the green ships. Temper, temper, spend it. <laughs> temper, temper. I'm leveling this island. Yes, yes, you are. I'm, 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 I'm having flashbacks to that one moment in what was it, the Korean War, when somebody shot the I like, like, the like a single Mo. like artillery battery. The mighty hit, Mo. Hit, yep. Yeah, the mighty Mo. <laughs> the mighty Mo. It hit him once, and they just leveled it with like. <laughs> they turned all four of their cannons. Of their... They turned all yep. four of their cannons and 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 just obliterated it. Yeah, I think they right. damaged like a single anti-aircraft gun or something. They fractured the, the deck plate, the decking. Oh, that That's was it. it. Yep. They fractured the deck plate, so that our that artillery emplacement was leveled along with the hill it was was in was in uh, the All right. So how many shields? Uh, Thirteen. All right, so one 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 of the uh, uh, green, green ships is heavily damaged. It's still uh, limping, but the other two who just get caught in the shockwave as a a, a bunch of of ice just rocket out out and slam into their their ships, sending them spinning. Nice. Two ships are down. One is is badly damaged. So yeah, temper, temper. I think it applies. <laughs> Good so shot. Now do we call them? Good shot, Mr. Venix. 
That was fun. Would you like to do more? Swift task? Did we already do that or? Uh, you oh, kept the initiative. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hit him again, sir. Like you take off that last one. Oh, I don't think the message is quite as, quite as clear as I want to be, Mr. Venix. Finish off the straggler. All right, firing phasers. All right, to threat, keep threat swift task. Uh, and we are firing phasers. You are in an optimal range, but plus one for the swift task. So again, diff three, weapons, security, and minus one power, or you can put an extra two power in to juice it. Probably not necessary though. Yeah. Yeah, she has like 10%. Yeah, she has 10% and damage left. Or 10% of her shields. Okay. Uh, take one threat. Okay. I got it. Now. And she's down. Uh, sir. Still have have the uh, two float from the versatile. That's when the the attack mask. We don't have anything for it. that last ship with the damage that was always that was just rolled so yep. I really don't see anything it's the first by one. Great advantage. Oh advantage. Uh -huh. some power back. We have nine out of our ten power. I guess the brain you can't have too much. Maybe it's like a crew readiness thing. I know like each department was prepped, but we responded to that really quickly. So I don't know if there's any mechanical advantage we can use there. I can't think of anything to end it on. I might have an idea. Uh, you can and and launch your fighters. There's alongside that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, okay. Kind of like kind of an extra minor action, but I'll take it. As yes, auxiliary craft. Let's see, you have five. As three the attack fighters or er, just come out out the aft. Uh Venice X what formation do you want them to attack, defense, escort? Um is that a my call or a con call? Mm, you're the one who did it, so I'll I'll make it your call. Uh, we'll go with uh, offensive formation. Offensive formation. Aye. So they will attack alongside you. Yes. All right. That's the. Uh... Uh, end of those turns. Um, go to the Breen. Uh, 
down a little. Not quite yet. I had to, I had to talk with a, a, a green cat. Uh, you are receiving a hail. Put her on. Standing in the uh, um, a middle of the uh, dark and, and slightly misty green bridge is this is towering, being very very thick shouldered, or er, er brain in there. They are unflappable. Oh, oh, mask. Stavanger? I do hope this is a communication to surrender. We are in open and uh, unclaimed in space. And if you had not begun a power drain on us as soon as we walked in, communications could have been had sooner. You chose to assault my ship. I answered in a way that would make you less likely to continue any further hostilities. And we responded in a way to make it less likely for you to respond with hostilities. Which seem my ship is capable of. Don't make I threats lightly. Mm. You have been uh, you have been observing Federation space and its trade route throughout through the Shackleton. These can either cease, or we can go through less polite means of ending it. We spy on your ships, you spy on our, our ships. That is the nature er, er, of, of space. We're always looking on each other. Yes, but when we discover information that could lead to further troubles for multiple powers, and you are, and you and your you and your power is behind it, you not only come in conflict with one power who could end your adventures in space, but two, one of which is far more likely to end it quickly and without any communications. So we're back to idle threats, Captain. Merely informing you of what our allies, the Klingon Empire, are capable of. Uh, the Universal Translator doesn't doesn't pick this up, but there's a weird golfing sound. Uh, I have linguistics as a focus, as well as psychology. Oh, I'll definitely allow, allow that. Uh, insight. And at least if two, because as he does have a mask. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Diplomat as a focus. Uh, not a focus, trait. Yes. All right. Ah, uh, you can still have a threat. I want to, I want to generate some momentum. And onwards and outwards. 
Momentum. Uh, uh, it was a laugh. Very derisive, derisive, ha ha ha, I know something you don't know, laugh. It seems you're laughing at the fact that the House of Rax is planning on becoming an even bigger nuisance than we thought before. Are you thinking of the further scientific horrors that the Toth will, her, will perpetuate throughout the galaxy? If you think that the uh, uh, Klingon Empire is solely your allies, you're, you are mistaken. Martok and those that are loyal to him are our allies. The House of Raps is not loyal to Martok, therefore is not our ally. It is... I don't begin to believe that every house within the Empire is completely loyal to the current regime. They always have some machination going on behind the scenes in order to gain more power. He mutes and and talks off screen. So do 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 we just see the the helmet tilt a different direction though? Helmet tilts a different direction in in some like arm gesturing and stuff. Psychologically, does it look like I've got him? I am trying to do diplomatic calculus this year, and for some reason my brain is refusing to cooperate. <laughs> the math is bad thing, oh god. Like so many different layers, errors here I have to, to, to work through. Who I'm loyal to, who, who else, is, else I'm loyal to. It's almost like he's trying to politic a diplomat. Mm hmm. He's trying to out politics the politician. Let's be honest, that's what the nuts are for the most part. Yep. It's almost it's also like this man it's just, it's also like author has to do like three different political motivations at the same time. <laughs> he's yeah. got he's gotta do the green motivations, the House of Rocks motivations, and the Clan Empire as a whole motivations. And then even in the Klingon Empire as a whole, there's different houses which all have their own political machinations. And then it becomes a whole mess of a radical going down further and further and further and further and further. And and I have to uh, and I have to calculate it, like brain psychology and like what am I willing, willing to risk for this thing? <laughs> not 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 to mention the joys of uh, the fact that this also all has to line up with what two three other games. Mm -hmm. Coexisting? Yeah. yeah. It's almost like I'm holding a lot of cars and this guy doesn't like that I have most of the cars that he should have him have all on his own. How do you get these cards off me? What the hell? Yeah, you're stealing cards from his deck. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun that one, one was what one was playing Uno, the other was playing Blackjack. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Ask him how much he's getting paid to risk his life out here. Uh, your com that alarm. I don't like that alarm. There, there, there is an alarm. Mm -hmm. And the nature of this alarm. Uh, so someone's gonna have to look into that. 
Uh, well, whose console? desk Catholic is the alarm Ray. blinking on? That's the first question. Right. Yeah. Uh, Where is this alarm ops, happening? Officer Science. Uh, I'm an officer, technically, right? We yeah. have an ops officer as well. So you were a con. We have Ferris, unless somebody took him off to the Gettysburg. I think Ferris is still here. Ferris is here. Yeah. Yeah. He's our, he's our uh, ops officer. So he wants to pick him up. Well, I'm curious. Uh, I'll, I'll just do it as three since I can override the console anyhow. I'll just see what that is. Okay. Plus, if it does fall in science, three is good at science. So this will actually line up well. Valid. All right. What's the blinky light? Blinky light. Um, reason. Uh, science or security. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, isn't that? Science. But no, we're doing things with the sensors and Cerdell's not here. He's going to be so mad at us later. He's in reason so science, you say, or reason security? Either or. Okay. Uh, well, I would definitely take you up on reason science. Actually, reason security. My security's higher. I got my numbers mixed up. Either way, um, do any of my focuses apply? Uh, Piloting, computers, flight control, navigation, org tech, and efficiency. I think uh, pilot. flight control. Flight control. All right, sweet. Uh, take a momentum. I am rolling. Actually, oh, hang on. This is an override, isn't it? I yes. can use con. <laughs> can. <laughs> Haha. Uh, and also direct your interface so I get that third die for free. Um. And then can I buy the fourth for one, or does it still count cost two? It still counts us two. Uh, you know what? Free free dice, let's do it. Uh, pushing button onwards and downwards. Just three dice? Okay. Changes. This sheet, because you took out some of those traits. Momentum. For what that gift is from, but it's the only one that fit what I was thinking. What was it? What is that from? I don't know. Some some eighties movie. Hey Phoenix, you recognize it? <laughs> I kind of remember that. Looks it familiar, kind of... but I can't place it. <laughs> uh, Ares, like God of War, from Xena, the Warrior Princess. Oh. Xena. It was in the URL. Uh, uh okay. I had to the URL. Anyways, uh... God of War. Hmm. Uh, the... Yeah, what's, uh, the, what's the blinking light? Should I be worried? Uh, Rev Lazaret, uh, it has... As disconnected from the uh, uh, station, and is preparing to navigate. Captain, the green in vessel appears to have finished its. Uh, it appears to have finished its repairs. It is disconnected from the station and is moving under its own power. Well, if I suggest you cease any forward momentum before we are. For I am forced to fire further onto your ship. You've already lost three vessels this day. Do you really want to lose half of your ship in this misguided attempt to do anything? Uh, 
three, you do have a float. Do uh, you want to do anything with that? Uh, yeah. Can I uh, use that to react first before it does anything nefarious or running away? Uh, two moments and begin and, and, and react. Actually, that would like to you do. Captain, permission to tractor beam the, the uh, marine vessel. Granted, I won't want them going. Uh, you are out of range. You will have to move. Move, move then, no tractor. No worries. All right. Um, so. No, with the air devil pilot, he has to move. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, horror. I have to do my job. Oh, no. So, uh, two zones, uh... I'm pretty sure that's just, that's just a simple impulse like we could move to, right? Yeah. Uh, minus one power. Ah, eh, fair enough. Alright. Where do you think you're going, Trent? Uh, what's the role for tractor beam? Uh, let's make that control. You're going to override with Khan. We, uh, you're yep. overriding for a weapon, so. Yep. Let me control Khan. I'm just wondering what the number is. Yeah. Yeah. It's just how how much you gotta you gotta do it in order to get it. Yep. It 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 makes sense as to why. A tractor beam is considered a weapon because you can't just rip entire deck plates off with it. Yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you don't control it just right, you're gonna uh, have some mm. problems. Speaking as a Borg who has used a tractor beam aggressively before, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's see. What's the nature of the competition? Um, it's still within range of the uh, station. You might grab the wrong thing. Ah, uh, target yeah. environment. Okay. All right. Um. Well, like I said, we're already doing the multitasking override, so I'm now rolling con. Um. Directional interface fires, so I get three dice. Good. I assist with command. Or momentum. Take it. You have a reroll. Hooray! All right, I think three will do it then. Uh, okay. Com range, focus in computers. Mm, not really. Yeah, fair enough. Um, all right, here we go. Team dynamics is a focus for me. Yes. I think we got them. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Them. Goodness. I don't think the Stavanger likes being touched either. It's, well, seeing as the last time we, we bought them, it took a lot of damage. I think it's upset. Oh, it, 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 it she is angry. <laughs> Three got a lot of curses at the moment that it got touched. <laughs> Three is just like, I don't want to translate these for everyone. <laughs> Yelling Captain, the computer invented it. new curse words. It's very inventive. Captain pulls out a notebook. Looks like you to proceed. <laughs> <laughs> Linguistic. <laughs> new computer language. Yes. All right, you have them in a tractor beam. As you just swooped over or, or on, on top of them. Um, and and grabbed him with a tractor beam, in, in glancing out from the uh, bottom of the saucer. Are we going to continue our conversation peacefully? Or are you going to continue to attempt to agitate me? Uh, more thinking, more thinking. Uh, 
Uh, one moment. Yes, I'm spending some threat. We have unspent float. You do have unspent float. Uh. What would you like to do with that? That float. Uh, you know, let's just spend it into threatening posture. Uh, three, you agree? Yep. This is your, your primary rule. Updating the trade. We gained our renown for a reason. Yes, you are definitely in a, a, a threatening in posture or hovering over them. You have a hard target lock uh, right on their engines. Just like painting the target saying, yeah, yeah, I, I know exactly where to hit you right now. And you know it. Uh, I'm use this one the or this one. Just going, let me fire, let me fire, let me fire, let me fire. <laughs> <laughs> Press the button. Press the button. <laughs> it's making the button full link on Max's console. Mm hmm. The, the fire phaser button is just actually a, a pulsating. No, no, no. New round, Eric. Uh, the, the Marine are thinking about what they want to do. Yeah. Because they tried to run. That didn't work. They tried to shoot us. That definitely didn't work. Well, they tried to drain us, but we blew we blew a hole in, their, in that ice field and destroyed three of their ships. Uh-huh. Uh... They tried to out-politic me. That failed. I don't know how many cards they have left to play in this deck. Not, not a whole lot. But shoot, I'm going to, I might need to pull this card. Our win in throws, but I guess we're pulling it now. What? What? Oh, this is going to be a fun card. Oh no! Does Green have some sort of toss doohickey? Oh wait, 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 wait! I have a, I have, I have a, a complication. I need, need to trigger. First. Oh yeah, what was yeah. that about? I was uh, waiting on that. I was really. Somebody paid good money to screw us over. Hey, someone yeah, paid. No, no, no. Okay, I spent bad money. <laughs> so hard Someone for me in particular paid good money for that. As as you are 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 selling in, in position, and suddenly space starts rippling. What do you mean? Sp oh, that's me. Shackleton's gonna Shackleton. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought it was a top submarine. Oh, it's Mr. Shackleton. In fact, uh, 
as as Shackleton in in expanses is pulling some of shenanigans and, and there's a gravimetric wave oh, rolling through the system. We'll just ride uh, that space wave, brother. Hey, three, you, you are really close as to another ship. You probably don't want to ram into that. You also have to make sure that you don't break the connection of the tractor beam. Uh huh. Oh. Daring. Daring con. Uh, let's see, that is difficulty three. Uh, plus that, so to four. Then con three. Engines con. As the fabric of space-time itself just starts rolling under underneath you, and the distance between and you, you know, and the Breen cruiser are starts changing rapidly. Oh, spicy! Okay. Um. All right, all right. Things just got interesting. Uh, well, first off, direct near interface. Mm-hmm. And four. Yeah, oh, hi, Cass. Uh, there's a gravimetric wave hitting us, and I need to dodge. Otherwise, I'm get, we're going to get hit by this green ship that we're tracked to beaming. Hopefully, the ship does not have anything that helps it does. <laughs> it was gone for four <laughs> minutes of tearing the universe apart. What, what, what did I say, chat? It's what not, did I say about please don't time. mess with the it's... fabric of space time? It's not space-time, it's just space. Well, space and time, right. because they're the same thing. It's, because Einstein. It's a gravimetric wave. We're, we're, we're being slapped by Einstein's relativity. Um, not really Einstein's relativity, fabric of space-time. Anyways. Could we I could ride the wave instead? Sometimes. Driving? Okay. Um, this is a roll to ride the wave and not get smacked by the wave. Yep. Ride the wave, but also maintain the tractor beam. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Complication that's, is. That's where it's the complication is, is is either you you get smacked by the a ship or you break the tractor beam. Cool. Uh, so take four momentum in the rest of the threat. I would like to get the full bucket. All right. So uh, one, two, three, four, and then one more makes five. Okay. Oh. Uh, all right, let's see. I didn't what say we've got. you were boring. I said your hobbies were. <laughs> uh, off road warp coils? You know what? Yes. <laughs> cool. Right. Knock that down to cop two, please. Cash, you're helping. Uh, All right. Uh, Focus in piloting. Yes. All right, here we go. That's exciting. Uh, engines. Oh, engines con. Engines con. Come on, Stavanger. Yeah, there's a there's a difference. I it. It has to be rolled. It's a 12 as opposed to a 13. Oh, that's worse. Wow. Yeah. That, that's actively worse. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what? I am very determined to not have a space accident. Yeah. Well, yours the, uh, the ships. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm going to reroll mine and then we can, and then we can quash yeah. The, yeah. the ship. So, uh, to what cool. value? Um, Flight is freedom. This is my element. This is is absolutely element as as the uh, fabric of space time. I'm ripples around, out and you you you, you dig deep down in, in yourself, elf in, and try to go with the wave and not fight it. It, it flying thing with with the uh, uh, fabric of space time. Uh, go ahead and reroll yep. all your d twenties. However many you want. Oh, oh no! Got it again. Whoa! And those are hard twenties too. Oh yeah, that's 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 crazy. Why couldn't I have had these on Saturday? 
But I, didn't I mean, die in my last EV so session. We've got, two, we've got two cars. We can crush one. Yeah. Um. Uh, do the there. choice. Which one are you are you crushing? Um. I think probably the ships is probably the better one to quash. Yeah. Yeah. Let's 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 quash the ships. Like a piloting error is less worse than a ship error. Yeah. We do, we don't want the ship. Getting more <laughs> right. Yeah. As as you fight to maintain in control of Star Majority, you're everything really close range, range, range of this is Breen ship. Space time, I'm warping and 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 waving in in around around you. Uh, uh, you manage it's to. Uh, uh, you are are. Are barely able to keep her, her within you even kill and keep the uh, distance between in you and the uh, other our ship. However, or the uh, a strain in of getting that uh, and maneuver are, are done. You you twist it's the a hand that has the uh, uh, primary neural uh, uh, interface and you break your wrist. Just in the stress Ow. of the situation, and there's a popping, snapping, snap sound, and your hand with the tubular holes, holes is is broken. So directing our own. This is not the first time this has happened. This is not the first time this, this has is, happened. This is happening with. If I, if I had a nickel for every time I broke my wrist while at the con, I'd have two nickels. Yeah, drink more. Which isn't milk. a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Get there for some milk. Get that voice of milk. I, I I may be in need of medical attention. You may be in need of medical attention. Yeah. Yeah. However, that's not so the worst thing. It. To talk like that? What, what, however, that's, that's not I, the I only thing like that happens. <laughs> As okay. well, I have this asteroid field here. Oh. Hey, Phoenix. How's your sharpshooting? Yeah. Do you mean skeet shooting? How's your skeet shooting? <laughs> As let's see, where's 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 my where's my space rocks? Space rock, space rock, space rock. <laughs> Space rocks. Uh oh. Let's see. One, two. One problem. Two problems. Yeah, let's just make two problems. I'm good with that. As the uh, wave ripples through ooh, the uh, ice ring and starts hurling in two fairly large. Our, our icebergs towards you ooh, at significant and velocities is uh three is struggling in to keep the ship from crashing in into ooh, the breen vessel all in in tow and two rocks are hurtling towards you okay what are you gonna do I think. How, how big are these rocks? Uh, they're, they're 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 pretty big. They're about sc scale three. So if they hit you, they'll they'll hit like a scale three vessel. Does it seem possible I could destroy them with one phaser volley? Uh, not one phaser vo volley. They're they're fairly far far apart. One's coming. In, in towards the aft, the other one's ends coming like dead ahead. Okay. I think what I'd like to try and do is fire phasers offset on the rocks so that it knocks them off their, their current flight path. Ooh, I like it. I like it. it do, do a little... Oh, oh, deflection. All right. Um, oh, Armageddon action now. Yeah. And I don't want to miss a thing. Anyways. 
<laughs> hey, you don't have to put a dollar in the jar for that. <laughs> All right. Uh, during security, because the time time field it we're working at. Um, let's see. That's gonna be a fairly simple shot, but at they are spread at, at a part. So I'm gonna boost up to three. Not really any complications. Oh, wait, definitely some complications. Uh, so you have things you don't want to get it hit nearby. Right. Weapons. And security. And I will make this as cost minus one power. Um, but you can't. We're not gonna roll all damage for it since it's not really a damage roll, but you can and put extra power into it. Um, it'll increase the complication range. range but for each extra power you put in, and you can and get a bonus momentum at the end of this. That could help with other things. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna add, borrow any more power. Okay. I don't wanna add that comp too much. All right, staring security. Um, combat tactics or shipboard tactical systems as a focus. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take uh, three threat. Oof. All right, I'll reroll that comp. Nice. There we go. And one momentum off, off that. After er, er, seeing these, these these two rocks, and they're like like several million miles Alice, apart from each other, but on a a, a direct course or, or for you, the let's see, port side, I, I phasers, airs fire once, nick this as as I spark and send it tumbling thing up and away. Okay. Then you swing the targeting system and, and around, fire the forward ar arrays, and actually cut this rock uh, in half as as both halves, halves, halves tumble oh, around you. Eight in the corner pocket. <laughs> Venex regularly wins the, uh, the crew wide. Uh, pool tournaments. Okay, all that greatness. Outcom badge. Doctor guys, either send yourself or a medical team to the bridge. We have at least one injured officer from that from that endeavor. Understood. I'm on my way. I'll grab my little my little kit. It's just a flesh wound. Suck it up. Skip on up to the bridge. Suck it up. Just a flesh wound. Three raises hand and his wrist just flops to the side. <laughs> you can see the little little tubules trying to knit it back together, but they keep failing. Just keeps it, they just keep flopping it from side to side. My operational efficiency it. has been decreased. I'm gonna roll a duct tape from under my console. <laughs> Yeah, uh, actually, grab, you I could grab the, grab actually, the emergency kit. From, yeah, from yeah, the there was there. there's like an emergency kit on the bridge is you can use is to help. Yeah, I have a four in medicine. I just really cool want Kai to, to get something. <laughs> He's been sat here for an hour. Mm -hmm. I'm just here, man. Who's vibing? I'm vibing. Do you want me to come up and do it? I'll happily. I'll roll. Yeah, I'll click yeah, a button. yeah. Come up here. I'll, I'll click a button, please. Yes. Guy, you have things to do. Do guy I things. I run up. I run up. I skip. I'm so happy to fix people. They were skipping in a circle on the on the turbo lift. Yeah. Diddly do, diddly do. I finally get called to the bridge. The captain fix it himself. Draw medicine, different. Hello. What happened? Oh. You broke your wrist. That's not good. Yeah, uh, emergency medicine. As a focus. I'll give you one momentum for a third die. 
we're gonna we're gonna get some momentum here. Squad, everybody, strap in. Uh, how do I how do we feel? Oh, I'm gonna be well. I'm gonna fish. Watch this. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That should uh, hold you over. Um, once we get to a more peaceful situation, I'll need a full. Uh, Full uh, checkup in medical, but that will um, keep you without any uh, negative side effects for the time being. Three. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Doctor's Sorry, fist I, your I, hands. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got Fine, don't say anything. <laughs> I skip away. I skip away while crying. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I thought you were talking to Phoenix because you said pew pew, and I'm like, wait, that's the weapon thing. I don't fire the weapon. <laughs> no, you're you're just Thank fine. Thank you. Now. I appreciate the repair. Look, Max getting a hole inside it really made her very uh, sassy. Good luck. Yeah, I, I, are you sh are you sure you you replicated the uh, the 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 replacement Neurosian stuff correctly? The I have some anger issues right now. So. <laughs> I let you blow up an ice field. Those aren't the bad guys I need to kill. True. Sure. We can't get the bad guys that you want to kill. Working on it. Here we can. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a work in progress. First, we have to figure out what we're going to do with the brain that we still have in our tractor beam. Make a new friend. <laughs> I mean, if if you pay them enough, anybody they they'll be anybody's friend. We don't we don't do money. Sweet. All right. Well, there we go. <laughs> Uh, if you remain on the bridge, Doctor, we may have more need of you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pop a squat. <laughs> in your, in your designated seat next to the captain. Yep. Hey, you're a diplomat. Figure out what they want to switch sides. <laughs> <laughs> I already took all their cards. Um, I think how much more that guys, I guys, he's, he's spending again. Venix might have a point. Maybe offer them a new card. The card is stop doing what you're doing. Vibe with us. Fed, cool. And now the little ships are all disappearing. Uh, 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 little ships are warping out. Oh, That's probably a smart choice. With the top ship. And we see how many how many little ships just left? Were there five left? All of them. Yeah, uh, there. Well, we blew up three, and there was two left. So I think it's we two. We blew up three, and then there Actually, was. Uh, it's the unknown because they went to the far side of the planet. And I remember the, the ice fields had reflective properties, so we couldn't tell mm -hmm. their. Oh right, we don't know how many there actually are in there. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't scan the ice field. We only knew that those that there was at least three because we blew up three. And a bunch just left. How many is in that bunch? Well, that's yeah. good. And we still have big ship in tractor beam, right? Yep. We do, so, in fact. Have, do we still have the At same? The cost of my wrist, the same, which we uh, That's all good. Same thought on the uh, on the, the internet, that but the same thought on the on the bridge of that ship. He didn't disappear at any point. No, he didn't disappear. Okay, but still have people. They have signaled their surrender. A wise choice, what? boss. Is, is that is that Venice actually exclaiming <laughs> what, or is that just player exclaiming what? Now then, 
power down all weapon systems and keep any personnel away from any consoles that could be used to activate them again. Very well. Mr. Venix, take as many security officers as you need in order to rank in order to wrangle them all. I run a quick search. Are there any records in all of Starfleet history of the Breen surrendering? It seems a little too easy, doesn't it? Um Can I assist? Why? I think we're on the losing side of the menu. Why, why, yeah, why can't I get to the... It, it always is too easy. It's, a, it's an author game. Why, why, why can't I open this window? Seriously. Honestly, we don't even need to go over there. We'll just beam them here. Just have all the security officers just standing there with the Type 2s. For now, Type 2s. Uh, type 3s. Yeah, just have them there. Hold on one second. I'm having technical difficulties. Lands. You let K9 crawl around your computer again, didn't you? Yeah, she's crawling underneath my desk and she unplugged something. God damn it, K9. Bad grub on Okay, now we can actually all tab at, at towards World 20. Jesus. That was silly. Yes, I do realize that she's just going to spend another complication to her. Um, do you want to uh, look this up on computers, or you just want to do this off the top of your head? Well, I guess uh, computers. I mean, if I don't know offhand, can I can I assist, Benix? You by... you can assist. Copy. Security. Uh, two. Computers. Security. Okay, computers as a focus. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, plus one for an exceptional reason. Uh, plus one for yeah, with investigation for me. Uh, yes. Copy. Oops. <laughs> well, here I am. Hey, thanks for the help. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, we have enough to buy As... Off. Let me double check real quick. We don't get the comp off there. We're, we're squashing it. Yeah, we're squashing it. All right. I didn't bring my pad up. I just bought my medical kit, so I... <laughs> <laughs> Starts looking up Reed in <laughs> yeah. the medical tricorder. Uh, yeah, this is the wrong piece of tech. <laughs> okay. Oh, and compute... There we go. So, three, four... And we're just going to spend the attitude to clash our sky. Yep. Yeah. Uh, guy, uh, you, you don't have, have your uh, intelligence pad add with you. And you were like kind of uh, caught on, on medical officer mode. So you weren't thinking 
thinking of intelligent stuff at the moment. So, oh, you're like, well, I mean, we know very little about brain physiology. Wait, that's not what we're asking. Right, wrong question. Wrong question. Call Nurse Lovestone. Bring up my pad, please. I left it in my medical. I'm sorry. Stop typing on the same keyboard I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what are you looking at? Hey, what are you looking at? Use Firefox. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here you are. Send it to your console now. Okay, that's what I thought. Captain, I don't believe their offer to surrender is um, forthright. I believe they're uh, up to something. This is some type of trap. Mr. Venix, if that's the case, shear off part of their left side. Oh, okay. I'm quite done with this particular uh, breed incident. Yeah, there's no history in, in Starfleet records of the Breen ever surrendering. The fact that they're doing this now so easily is highly suspect. Well, I, I agree that obviously this is suspect. I think that um, a blasting off uh, part of their vessel when they've openly surrendered on communications could look unfavorable for us are there shields down yes captain maybe we should beam their captain over here Very well. mr vanix take at least 10 officers with you the transporter room and have him and have the block beam directly there Aye, and then take him to the brig To the brig, sir? To the brig. He's not being beamed over as a guest, Mr. Bennett. He's being beamed over as a prisoner. He has surrendered after having attacked a Federation vessel. You're not going to have a third act discussion with your enemy? <laughs> I will dis I will discuss things with him. Brick. <laughs> I'm not going to give him the comfy conference room or an office. <laughs> He's getting the brick treatment. Yes, to be fair, Starfleet breaks are probably nicer than some other races on He's getting so. the bad one. Not the one, one, the one the slightly that uncomfy the bad. One, the one we let Lurkin uh, modify. Oh, that one. They're not. They're not modify. Purposely got like a drip. It's a, a, cl it's a very corner. Klingon one. It's like a Klingon dungeon. Yeah. All right, so All right. we'll uh, have a security yep. team meet us down in the transporter room and uh, beam him up. Uh, do you want your security team to have any, any extra uh, gear? Uh, let's go with armor and type twos. All right, I'll take a threat for the armor. All right. Uh, uh, as you guys are, as as you guys eyes are are gathering at the at a transfer room to beam them up, uh, feel free to discuss amongst yourselves. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tag along with them as well. Get like a happy little bio scan. Make sure he doesn't have like a bomb strapped to his chest when he arrives or something. I was just going to suggest that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm also going to stand at the back of the transporter pad, behind where he would materialize. Oh, smart. Well, 
the bomb mushroom music song which I'm talking about. Uh, can we juice the uh, the transporter sensors to see if he's got anything else on him, like a subspace mm, sure. weapon of some type? That's a good idea. I think that would probably be smart. I guess we can have we have a transporter chief, don't we? Mm-hmm. I guess somebody can roll that. Maybe, maybe Sorel if he's back. Get him in on the action. I am here. Hello! Hey, bro. Bro. We have had a time. The cookout looked delicious. Yeah, yeah, it was quite, quite good. All right, do you require a roll? You want me to pick somebody up here? Uh huh. I am trying to boost the uh, transporter. Yeah. The scan yeah. The transporter I, chief. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to do some math on the back end of, of what what this is going to look like. Oh, there we go. I found Petty Officer Kashwai. Oh, yeah, this, this, this thought thought he could get one over on the diplomat who was holding all the cars that he thought he had. Okay. Then I uh, I am spending for threat for raisins. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, I have one more idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I want security force fields on the deck this transporter room is on. Mm. Yes. At all bulkheads, and we can turn them off and turn them off at will nice. as we travel to the brig. Okay. Uh, let's get those advantages is in line. Uh, then I control security so you want like rolling in uh force fields with you correct i want them in place when he beams on so if there is some kind of uh attack they can't get far and then okay. if they travel to the brig if that goes that far mm -hmm. then we can turn them on and off nice right uh computer Security. And let's get to the transporter room. I'm going to set you guys up. Uh, all right. Uh, control security. Wait, why is the transporter officer doing control security? Uh, yeah, that's, that's for uh, Venix. Venix. That's for Venix. Oh, okay, that's, that's for Venix. Okay. All right. Uh, control security. Yep. Would uh, combat tactics as a focus apply here? Uh, support tactical. So, okay. Rip. 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 Stop fighting. The ship is rebelling. Well, it worked. Yep, we right, stopped well, fighting. Uh, the ship's rebelling. Uh, yeah, quash. We'll, we'll quash it. Yeah. 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 Shoot the quash. All right. 
So guys in there, Cashways is in there. Um, Thenex, you are going to be standing behind them on the pad. Correct. And then we have a full security detail with type twos and armor, right? Yep. Uh, actually, people grab a security personnel and drag him in here. Um, Don't worry about it. I want uh, some in the room and some in the hallway. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's no uh, Tyrin. Going on here at all. Is Tyrin gonna be in the room? This is super sus. So, so which of your names aimed uh, security officers are in the room? Uh, probably Lordan. Um. Hold on. Matau. Yeah. Maybe, uh. Who else? You need all the time, maybe? He's cool. He's the Andorian. Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty dope. Alright. Yeah, he is. And then that. That covers all the characters, right? All the player characters? Yes. Yeah. And then a security team aim outside yes. or, or inside? Right. Outside. Security team outside. Generic, friendly, Starfleet. And I'm going to keep an open channel to them. Yeah. Why I literally dragged that token over from the uh... yeah. You're leaving? Oh. Good seeing you, buddy. Mm. Playing a game. What game is it? It's a Star Trek game. Ooh. Star Wars? Star Trek. <laughs> Star Wars. The other one. He <laughs> right there? No, I'm up here. Okay. Alright, bye, buddy. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And now. All right. Well, Tyrone's there. I'll I'll fix fix his, his character token in later because it just completely broke broke itself. A character that has just two eyes poking out of the hood. <laughs> a mysterious hooded figure in the corner. Yeah. All right. There we go. The shadow knows. Shadow mm -hmm. knows. Oh. Uh, what evil lurks in the lurks in the hearts of men. All right. Uh, and you wanted to set up a, a security e, e force field most within the uh, transporter room. Where at? Um. No, we won't have it in the room, but it basically just on either side of the door, the exterior door. So. Okay. Uh, we don't want to like. We don't want to like put one around one one pad, and then just plop him on the pad in the force field. Can we do that? Not, not on a single pad, but you can, and encircle all of all of the pads. 
No. Nah. We'll keep it open. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, How can we punch them if there's, there's, a, there's a shield up? Exactly, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, control engineering difficulty E1. E uh, you can either er, generate bonus momentum. You can and either spend bonus momentum to ask questions about who you're transporting, thing, or you can put extra power into do the uh, transport to get bonus momentum on, on top of this and use that to a- ask questions. Yeah, because we want to try to do like a thorough scan to make sure there's no uh, contaminants or... So this is the uh, Petty Officer Koshway roll? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. And, so this and, is an active... And, okay. Yeah, this is the active transport and and the captain's asked, asked that uh, we get a scan on the uh, uh, on the uh, bring captain and as we're bringing them over to check for weapons and stuff. That okay, so... I didn't actually do that. Oh. Oh, no, no, someone asked for it. Yeah. 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 Guy and, and I both. Yeah, we both. So like, this ah, is a... Uh, this is an activation, so I'm going to give her... She doesn't have a value, so I'm going to give her a value. It's not about the journey. It's arriving at the destination. Yes. Nice. All right. And not be like a pile of goo when you get there, right? <laughs> hey, well, you know, <laughs> that's that's the subtext there for sure. It is the subtext. Uh, all right. Okay, so I'm going to spend a threat to get to three transporters and replicated replicators as the focus, and onwards and downwards. I can reroll that complication, which I will do so with bold. So anyway, I got it. <laughs> uh, sensors engineering. Ow. Transport is transport it. is successful. I'll, uh, you can spend a momentum to ask ask a question. Wait, wait, I don't know what I'm transporting. Is that correct? You, you were transporting the Breen Captain. Yeah. Uh, what is it we wanted to know about the Breen Captain? Any weapons on him. Is there any weapons? I would like to know if there are any weapons on the Breen Captain. But obviously, including There is on. a disruptor pistol all, all on his belt. As per Starfleet. Not to... I choose not to integrate that. Uh, keep that in the buffer. Can you keep, oh yeah, you can just keep it. Keep that in the buffer. Yes. I'm gonna keep that in the buffer. <laughs> All right. When they, when their weapon just doesn't go with you. <laughs> All right. Uh, it just drops on the deck of wherever they were previously. Gets me over immediately goes for a weapon, confused as to why a weapon is gone. Yep. As you transport the uh, brain in, in thought onto the transporter room, and he is holding in his, his hand a uh fleshy detonator nope <laughs> it is a fleshy bag about out out 3 liters there's about out 3 liters or or large and he drops it on the floor and it explodes into a steaming mess rose is he a teenager Okay. Um, can, is that a form of greeding? Did, did we? Can we do a? Did, should we have brought our? 
Yeah, Should we brought our own fleshy ba- ba- bag? <laughs> yeah, can we do a, yeah. no. like a scan on what the liquid is? Would you like to know? Yeah. Yes. Get a scan of that, Doctor. Ah. What orifice did this come from? Yeah, then he, oh, then he no. just bring a bag of shit and be like, hey, what's up, dude? This, that was what I was getting out of the teenager comment. Yeah. Well, that it would need to be in a paper bag, not a not a fleshy sure, bag. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we just don't understand the sculpture, man. They evolved. Maybe, maybe it's like a dude situation. Them. Like I gotta spit on him to make him respect us. Give him the gift of my water. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you accept oh. investigation here? Uh, do you have or something like toxicology bot- and virology? Yes, toxicology, virology, absolutely. All right. Radical. I'll give you a thread for a third die. What wowzers? Wowzers? I drank that in college, I think. Oh god. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm gonna send thing, this though. to your console. Uh, uh, oh, uh, what, what's... Just dump some like. Ship eating nanites on the ground? What are we, what are we doing it's with you? Fleshy. And we would have seen that happen like immediately. This is where we learn it's been your meeting. They never let go of the from the war. Good thing none of you in the room are patrols. Unless you're hiding something from this guy. No, no, it's we're not great though. Um, this isn't. Is this the isn't flashback is worse than we thought? This isn't super good. Oh uh, goody! What are you infected with? Yeah, we're we're, <laughs> we're all infected with prions now. Uh, so we're gonna. He dropped a bag of prions. Yeah, he just dropped a bag of prions. So I'll call for a uh, you know, full uh, full medical quarantine of the transporter room. Uh, Two momentum, you can get that quarantine. Yeah, let's do that. But it's a good thing that we've already treated prions once in recent. Uh, yeah, yeah, countries. it's definitely something we can so deal we- with. Um, well, we now we've all just got prions. That was uh, so a fascinating way for you to surrender, sir. I will uh, defer to <laughs> Lieutenant Commander uh, Venix's <laughs> and uh, now... discussion on how to deal with him. <laughs> and now Venix just goes full range. And and now uh, we both have have something to lose. Uh, all right. Um... I want to know who's going to clean up my transporter pad. <laughs> You're not even here. You don't even know about this yet. No, I'm the okay, petty officer. Oh, yeah, 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 officer. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, rank has its privileges, so guess who? Um, I mean, I go can... ahead and take him into custody. Yeah, yeah. We'll put the magnetic shackles on him. I gotta treat the files and get rid of the infection knew before he can go anywhere. As the transport room's now in lockdown. Yeah, transport room, that's fine. We're yeah. on lockdown, but we'll put him in cuffs and then yeah. I'll call the medical and, you know, have them gather a a kit to, uh, with all Outside. of the anti prion stuff. Order rooms have a replicator. Yeah. Right, exactly. I was going to say, like, we can, we can get it beamed in or I can replicate it here. So all things considered. Mm-hmm. It could be worse. What is the, be, the resolution be, for a prion yeah. infection? Uh, I think it's got to do some blood stuff, right? Yeah. I know does it's it all... just affect biologicals or does it affect Venix as well? Oh, yeah. Uh, it does affect Venix. Okay. okay. So, well, actually, Guy could do the scans and whatnot in here and then medical could just let me get everything replicated and then just vent vent the cure in on you guys. Yep. 
But right. as we're air mm. dealing with this, uh, we're going to uh, cut to a new scene. Mm. All right. We'll get to be with the Wetson. This is probably Sorrel's turn. It's Sorrel's turn. Yeah. Go. No, it's my turn. Go save your ex. The Guardians of the Galaxy blasting. Like, you guys are just vibing in space. Uh, Sorrel's party barge. This time on Days of Our Shackleton. As Sorrel, you you are in command of the uh, Gettysburg, and you are rushing towards uh, Sector or er, Beta Five Subsector or er, Foxtrot Eighteen, where er, Turin was last noted. Been Here I and come to save the day. Yep, you, you've been rolling out here, uh, probably a couple days, a, a's now. Uh, if you want, uh, you you can have have your our gallant crew to make a con and engineering roll, see if you can and get there before something bad happens. Sounds like a good idea. And it was this crew. So what what is this we're doing? A roll? Yeah, a con roll. There's a con roll coming and an engineering roll. I'll I'll do I'll take the Vega. Yep. Uh, control, wait, control con. Con will be lead. Gotcha. And then assisted by control engineer. does have a focus uh yeah i'll give you a threat for a third die for him control con one of the focus does apply and there we go Bo-ega. i do have a, i have a focus that applies for this uh warp drives power systems i do have power systems yes all right And Sorrel, if you want to get to Gettysburg. Yep, I got to Gettysburg. Ooh, there is our Gettysburg. Character sheet. And it is Engines and Con. Engines. I can't remember. Uh-huh. This is definitely a two-parter. Did Borega get activated last time? Uh, new, new episode, new activation. Oh, okay, copy. Yeah. Gotcha. So activating Veth, even just the assist he didn't roll. So, yeah. Uh, an officer's only right when supported by a chief. I'll take it. As yeah, we got uh, three in momentum, and as as your our crew Sorrel L is able to to find some shortcuts, bleed some extra power or out of systems, find the uh, natural uh, flow of subspace, and you're able to 
to shave, shave a couple hours hours off your journey. Almost, almost 12 hours. Nice. We are flying her apart then. You're flying her apart. Nice. Uh, Bo Baggett just like looks back and just gives you a thumbs up and a wink. There we go. I'll give him the appropriate eyebrow raise. <laughs> uh, any other preparations you want to make before you, you drop in? As as you've been in at high warp, flying her apart for a couple days now. Um, I'm, she just really... Bo's just really focused on getting there as fast as possible and not Okay, crashing. so we know that there was weird power fluctuations for them. I'd like to uh, at least make a make a setup so that I can either redirect power or cut power with a few keystrokes. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, the control G. This system in order for this system not to blow out on us, that'd be great. Uh, let's make that different. Okay. Power systems as a focus. You can have a threat. And onwards and downwards. Goodness. <laughs> uh, Beth is very good at his job. Very good at his job. Uh, yeah, you have a, a hotkey E to adjust your power systems as needed. And to float. There you go. I'd like to do that. Well, can we create a gallery? Uh, we can create an advantage. Uh, what's the nature of the advantage? Ooh. We sort of do with just efficient power when we get there. Yeah. Fine tuned warp engines? I don't know. Uh, maybe something more to do with the shields. What was the actual role that you did? What narratively are you doing here? Power systems. So it should be related to power systems. Yeah. Right. Well, maybe it's just that. Like, we may be pushing the ship, like, structurally, right? Like, flying the ship apart. Yeah. The structure, but we're not... It's not, like, taking anything from the power or, like, the actual internal systems. It's just kind of rattling the ship a bit. Right. That's my thought. We're not actually flying her apart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll take that. So that way I can't neg you for our flying super fast. Yeah. Uh, casts in three. Did you want to uh, grab someone? Our roster. Neither use the two that are unclaimed or pick somebody else. Are they both gone? Yay. I just realized. <laughs> so <laughs> My mute I, button was on this whole time. I think, I think somebody should take up the medical officer and prepare for what we are very much concerned is X is, uh, X being uh, deep fried. What? We are, are on the uh, guide for rushing, rushing towards our rescue mission to save save uh, Sorrel's X. No, I heard the rescue mission, Dan, but what do you mean deep fried? There was a power fluctuation in the background when Sorrel talked for her last. Oh, lovely. Okay. Uh, which medical person did you bring along? Is it the chump? 
Uh, it is now. Awesome. Yay. Tishan is here, prepping the med bay. Oh, uh, well, we had Satriar, and Tishan might be better served on the Stavager, considering the Vion situation. Ah, right. Oh, Satriar's yeah, yeah. medical. Okay. Satriar's uh, one. Satriar Satriar is medical is on the one. Satriar is on the ship. Yeah. Preparing the medical bay. Uh, we need. We, we could use a science officer. Sarkin? Sure. Just chatting everybody's ears off. I, I hope, I hope Mr. Barton's there. Mr. Barton's always there. Right <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh no. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, Satriar. Uh, oh, perfect medical. Gosh, this. Yes, perfect medical. This person. Uh, what? What? Is that her? Uh, what are the pronouns? She, her. She, her. Okay. Yes, she is prepping the medical thing, and also, goodness, she needs some talents. I'm spending threat at making this instead to you because you are on a tiny escort. You don't have a lot of uh, materials to prep. Yeah, it's you're running with defiant medical bag. Barbarians. We have a one in medical food in Andy's work. Oh no! Yeah. You, you have a medical closet. You have duct tape to hold people together long enough not to get back to the ship. The guy, guy Suicide is painless. Work. It brings on many changes. Guy, okay. guy uh, complains uh, about the Stalingers <laughs> medical bay. You get that reference? I, yeah, uh, you I'm and I can be friends. I'm still yeah. making it work, buddy. Yeah. Now, now, Sorrel, are you are you, are you more referring to the show or the movie? Oh, so let's see. We can be friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's it's the movie because that's the only part where they actually sing the song, as opposed yeah. to. Okay, let's see. So we have yeah, any medical skills of the or actual, no medical bay. Uh, yep. See what you can, see what you can make out of this this closet. R.I.P. Donald Sullivan. Aha. Uh-huh. They are going to have field medicine. When attempting a medicine task, you may ignore any increase in difficulty for working without the proper tools or equipment. I think that applies here. <laughs> I think, I hope so. It's going to add a button. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Boop. Okay. Got that on the sheet. And now we can do the roll. <laughs> if one, uh, take a momentum, I'm going to roll three. And here we go. Fantastic. And gaining momentum back. Nice. What little you have prepped, it is prepped well. <laughs> I, I have lined up all three of the, uh, the hypo sprays next to each other. They are organized by color. The half-sized bio bed is totally ready to go. <laughs> yep, yep. I, I put I put a brick under the broken leg, the yeah. one that won't hold out all the way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is why Guy never gets on the Gettysburg. <laughs> <laughs> like, yep. I took I took one look at the specs and said I will never set foot on there. There's, that is not for me. <laughs> there's that there's that one mission that requires Guy to be there because of his intelligence specialty. <laughs> Right, exactly. He's, yeah. he's dragged onto the ship by Venix. All right. Uh, any last words before we, we drop into the uh, outside of the system? Last words. Last words. Hey, hey chill, chill. <laughs> I love you. Like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love you too. That's why I were friends. 
Bowega wipes a tear from his eye. He doesn't know why either. <laughs> Alright. Uh we will oh, drop into the system. Nice. Uh, this one. Oh, nice. Uh oh. I love it. Uh yeah. we're good. How the fetch is that? That yeah, is a very is, good question. That? Would you like to know more? Uh huh. Yes. Also, who the heck is the sweet? Yes, yeah, the sweet Carol ca, ca, Calarina. Looks like a that looks like a YT thirteen hundred uh, light frame. Just just Carolina. a little bit. Yeah. I a little bit. Read that. Carol. I want to say by Carol. the way that my dyslexia read that as the sweet Caroline first. <laughs> Bah, bah, bah. Uh, no matter what you wanted it to be, seems no, matter so what, good. no matter so what, good. You, no matter what you intended it to be, now this week, Carolina. Yep. All right. Uh, Gettysburg warps in into the edge of the system, and you see whatever the heck that thing is, and you see the USS Yarrow, which is. Where's where's my thing for it? Uh, Mr. Zarkin, um, sensor scan. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Got a big X on the Yara. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, disabled. Oh. Disabled. Oh, okay. If it's destroyed, uh, right, it wouldn't be there. <laughs> it's like, oh, no. Okay. It's really yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Why can't I... I mean, it is a little bit of a Star Trek tradition to get there too late. Yeah. Your ex has been kidnapped. You have to be an even bigger hero. Your wife's going to kill you. Yeah. yeah hang on, hang on. Did you tell your wife <laughs> that you were running <laughs> off to save your ex? Two threat, two threat, two threat. I'm, I'm, I mentioned. <laughs> I mentioned uh, I, I made quite clear that I was leaving uh, the the ship on a very important mission. The, the, but you did what not he get said, <laughs> Captain Smith ordered me to take the Gettysburg to go rescue my ex. Put the blame all on me. All right, yeah. uh, Zarkin. The next. Oh. oh, fun. Am I doing Zarkin? Uh, yeah. If zero, we're just doing a, a standard sensor scan. So. The more momentum you get, the more questions you can ask. Cool. All right. Obvious first question: What's the blue glowing ball thingy? <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> Why do I feel like it's going to get bigger? Sensor operations is a focus. Yes. Nice. I'm trying oh, to get the. Something that didn't work. This oh my gosh! It shrunk. Oh, then it expanded. It's, it's it, now it, now it, it got narrower. It's an upgrade. What is happening? Oh my gosh, there's a massive spatial distortion here. We need to get out of here right now. <laughs> it's like that thing from the fifth element. Right. Oh, yeah. Geez. yeah. All right. Well, no, uh, no, ship stable. sensors. Uh, <laughs> ship sensor science. No. Oh, I got that. That's me. No comps. Uh, no comps. Also, All doesn't right. Gettysburg have high resolution sensors? Yes. Yeah, um, yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. Hey, hey. Oh my goodness. So, all the, all the questions. Seven float. Good job. Well, be proud of yourselves. We are. Uh, sure. What would you like to know? That's a big blue ball thingy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, it appears to be the, a uh, class two new subspace singularity. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, you said singularity? Uh huh. Class two subspace. Nice. Uh, let's see. I can get a token on that. So a subspace black hole. Yeah. What? What? Hang on. I'm confused. Don't black holes already exist in subspace? Mm-hmm. Yes. So this is just a black hole? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. I, I was oh, worried okay. that there was like, something else going on here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's, it's uh, a black hole, but I, there's subspace ace properties about it. I, I assume I, that... I uh, want to point out a black hole is not always it's a black hole. Are those other two ships in the event horizon? Yes, great movie. Uh, no, they appear to be in a stable orbit around it. Oh, well, that's good. That's good for them. That's interesting. Is the stable orbit around a black hole? Yeah. Is the other ship? Does it have like identification uh, like tags? Can we tell what it is? Okay, so that was for the ships. Uh, for one moment, I can ask about the uh, Carolina. I think it would be good to identify who the other ship is, yeah. Yeah, what, uh, what registry information do we have yeah, on this ship? Uh, yeah, I can give you for both of them. Uh, the Yaro is the Yaro is a, a Starfleet e e runabout assigned to to the uh, Shackleton fleet. Uh, specifically a Operation Endurance. So the same fleet that uh, you guys are a part of underneath right. the Rear Admiral. The Carolina is a Federation civilian transport vessel. Not captained by Kelsey Grammer, is it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, well that's good. Interesting. Um, are there life signs on your ship? One momentum? Yep. Yes, five on the Yarrow, one on the Carolina. Commander Sorrel, there appear to be life forms on both ships. Good. What is their uh, current status of their orbit of the uh, singularity? It's not decaying, I hope. Did you say they were in a stable orbit where they were? Uh, yes, for one moment, I can clarify. I have more. Okay. Their orbit. Yes, their, their orbit it is. Their orbit is stable, but uh, there is like a slight accretion dish around the uh, a singularity that should be slowing them him down and, and eventually decaying their their orbit uh, especially given the time period did you uh, given the time period it's it since the initial incident and now um, if the Yara was disabled immediately and and in orbit, it of a, a singularity, her orbit should have been decayed by now. So either she lost power, or very very recently, or or something else is going on to put her in a uh, continually adjusting her orbit to make it stable. Do both ships uh, have no power? Uh Yeah, that's the momentum. Uh, correct. Both ships ifs are disabled, old, no power. They have, have emergency e power for life support. Okay. Well, Captain, their life signs aboard, but their orbits show that they could decay uh, in the near future. I would remind you that Jen Sarkin, I'm a commander, not a captain. 
Thank you oh, for the field promotion, though. Captain, Cap- of Captain of the boat. <laughs> Uh, also, don't like that word. Also, how close can we get without getting? Uh, Zarkin, one, one, one oh, important thing. Uh, their orbit should have decayed by now. You've been in flying out here for five days, and if they were caught in the uh, accretion disk by for five days, they should have decayed all the way in if they had no power. So something okay. is keeping them in orbit. I'll, I'll clear, make that clarification to Commander Sorrell that something... So there are no us. there are no immediate danger. Not we know of. Last two singularity. Right. I mean... Alright, well let's, let's spin through our uh, the rest of our float and then we can decide what we want to do. Uh, are these science questions? Yes. Sensor, uh, sensor okay. kind of related question. Uh, is this singularity naturally occurring? Do you have a tell? Uh, one momentum. It's complicated. It doesn't have, have signs of techno- technological all, all interference and but it doesn't look like like this thing was placed here solely beyond physics something made this but uh, without tech are there uh, are there ion or warp signature trails of another ship that was here that is now not uh, I can easily do that and yes, ion, there's an ion signature of a ship that was here uh, four or five days ago. Oh, right around the time when this formed. Mm-hmm. I'm betting you. Huh. <laughs> so I wonder if they left it. No, is there yeah. um is there any reason that we can't uh, maneuver into the the sector? A, um, adjacent to the the Yarrow with um, the Yarrow between the Gettysburg and the Singularity and transport off any life signs on the Yarrow. Right, yeah. So, like, what's the minimum safe distance we can be from the Singularity while also being within the transporter range? Uh, yeah. Transporter range, you have to be within the same zone. Okay, so we'd have to get in there in that inner circle. Mm-hmm. Is that yeah, within range can we, of <laughs> like the no escape we, zone? Uh, the no can escape zone is oh, in the, there. <laughs> the no escape zone oh, is no, the blue. Um, okay. The yellow. Oh, okay. What's the radius here? As long as we don't linger too long in this area that they're in. Okay. Then we'll be fine. Uh, the uh, blue swirly thing is the event and horizon, th- and once in there, you will have to use warp speed to get out. Uh, the yellow zone yeah. is the accretion disk. That will slowly that start dragging you in. And- yeah. Okay. How big is our transporter pad? Three. Ooh, yeah, so we gotta- yeah. Yep. It's not as big it's- as a... It's a transporter yeah, closet. Oh, can, bigger than a, I suggest we, since there, since the ships are not in immediate danger, I suggest we start with the Yaro and find out right. what the heck's going on, and then we can proceed from there. Yeah, there's more life signs in the Yaro, right? Five? Mm-hmm. Any other questions? Is one of them Vulcan? Is one of them Vulcan? Why does that sound like you're hopeful that she's not on the ship? <laughs> uh, uh, Zarkin, would you like to ask that question? Huh? Sure. Hey. 
double check who's all on here. We have one Vulcan, one Tellarite, uh, Beta Z, a Trill, and an Idorian on the Yarrow, and a Tellarite on the Carolina. Wait, what's an Idorian? Andorian. Andorian with an accent. <laughs> Just the one Tellarite on the Carolina, yes. Okay. Vulcan, Andorian, Betazoid, Tellarite. What was the, the last one? On the Tellarite other? again. Gotcha. Is, is the other ship small enough that one person could be directed through it? Because Porkins are weird. I can answer that for our momentum, or, or we can and actually get on the rescue mission. I think we just let's just go. Yeah, let's, go let's, start the arrow. let's just go yeah, in. Go All right. So, Boega can try to do a real sick drift. Yeah. Slap, Tokyo drift. Like, it. Yeah, Tokyo yeah. drift like right into the edge to get to the arrow. Yeah. Make it more dangerous. No, it's okay. It's because it's a precision maneuver. Because I he's like got it. Talent, I so he can maneuver. reduce the difficulty. It's a danger maneuver. Hey. You saying you saying drifting isn't a precision maneuver? I mean, I would argue drifting around a black hole would yeah, have to be pretty precise. Absolutely. I would argue that Let's you see. want to be it and try to eat it. But no, it does not make it a precision. Oh. No, no, I'll, I'll like to add precision fire. All right, so base difficulty one around the clash to the black hole brings up to three, and we want to park within range of the Yarrow to four, um, but then that brings it down. Uh, what's, what's precision it's maneuvering? Just bring, uh, bring it down by diff one. Yeah, we just did a difficulty of task by one to a minimum of zero. We okay. also have improved reaction control. What's the text on that? Uh, whenever a task has to move or maneuver the ship would increase difficult, increase in difficulty because of obstacles or hazards, reduce difficulty by one. All right, that fires. Being near a black hole definitely fires. Yeah, we're vibing. Yes. We're going to activate our rim lights as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beth is down in engineering. He heard, he heard somebody, he see somebody coming off the off the turbo lift. Did you hear Borega's gonna drift around a black hole? No, Borega goes right on right. the intercoms. Everybody strap in. We're about to get puppy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new dent in the side of the side of engineering. Yeah. All right. Um, you don't know I'll, if it was the chief's fist or a wrench. I'll give you a threat. Up okay. Three die. Um, focuses small craft or helm control. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> let's rip it, baby. It is. Oh no! Stick it, rip it. Oh no! We roll the top. Um, <laughs> Borega. Borega. Engines con from the Gettysburg. Coming, 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 coming. There you go. The hey, ship likes hey. drifting! Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> we have floats. Deja vu. Da, 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 da. <laughs> gonna go back to the to the Dobinger. So we're just gonna hear this mad little ship bragging about this nonsense. <laughs> uh, nice. Can we just use the advantage? Three is like, you drifted the ship without me? We just get the advantage of like like perfect uh, perfect positioning. I was gonna go for cool entrance, but yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute now. <laughs> yeah, you're onto something. Which one is it? Cool entrance. Perfect that's, positioning. That's, 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 there's only right. six people that are watching, right? That are not mm, the people yeah. on the ship. You know, if it was a bigger bigger, bigger <laughs> audience, no yeah. people on the ships are conscious. They're gonna be when they hear about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna see it. 
we, 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 we've got We're replay. Playing. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say. <laughs> Put out a class one probe. <laughs> like, Too late. Get this shit on the camera. All right, as you do sling around and the black hole getting in just around the uh, edge of the accretion in disc uh uh hot flecks of of, of just are spattering on your your shield um do, do, do. i definitely need, need to hit you for that uh class two uh can't do vicious all of two damage, which is absorbed by your armor. Er, er, so hot flex are bouncing off of your, your shields, doing absolutely no no damage. And you drift in and you get into position. All right, let's beam off uh, the first three. Uh, no Vulcan in the first three. No Vulcan in the first three. <laughs> Got it. Vulcan, beam, oh, wow. beam, up, beam up the commanding officer of the vessel in the first wave. Up, up to you, Captain or Commander. No Vulcan in the first. No Vulcan in the first wave. <laughs> okay. So you are dropping shields to transport. Yes. Okay. Shields down to zero. I, I think Mr. Golf has. Has death wishes for any commanding officers. He doesn't want them to be beamed out first. Let's go down with your ship. <laughs> it's your job. <laughs> it's in the five train. Out of the uh, singularity. No, you gotta no. be kidding me. No! I thought you said this wasn't a space kraken. I, I didn't say nothing of the sort. Kraken. I said, I said, no. I said nothing say, of the oh, sort. I look at that. I gave you a perfect opportunity to poke at things. You didn't. That's not my fault. It's and guess who has their shields space. down? Oh, no. Well, of course. We, we weren't expecting a space kraken. It's okay. No. I'll mine, I'll mine up with it. Literally, Nobody literally get extremely happy whenever space krakens appear. Uh, on the bright side, we have Cyril on the ship, so it'll be fine, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm well with it. Right, yeah, right. right up until it smacks the ship. Cyril, tell me it'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's been threat. R reminder that we have all of three hyposprays in the medical bay. <laughs> if, uh, if, if it goes badly with the space pr kraken, I don't think those hyposprays are going to matter. Right, yeah. Good point. Three. Oh no. Uh, shoot. Where where did the attack go? Is it on the other sheet? I knew when he asked if I was lowering my shield. I, I knew. I knew. So, yep, yep. It's like I was yes, lowering your shield. Wait. Yeah. Okay, well, well, we have to do that to transport. So yeah. Yeah. I. I am genuinely surprised you didn't you didn't try to poke it poke things into their rapids nearby. We're doing rescue. This is the search and rescue. We searched. Now we're rescuing. <laughs> we're going in order. Oh, we're getting the break, Jay. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. But who's going to rescue we can, us? We can only absorb half of that. Uh, Hold on. Let me double check this. She just is rolling this right. Yeah, no, nope, it's, it's that. And then... Ten. Okay. Yep. yep. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Uh, a minus three, so that's seven. So seven damage. Edge goes through. Uh, so that is two breaches. Oh no. Weapons and weapons Two. and one? structure. One for one for five ah, or more, and one for no shields. Your shields are down. Five resistance. Oh, yeah. five resistance. Five oh, resistance. yeah. You look at our scale. Okay, I'm. I forgot about that. So, uh, it's still five. Yeah. The one. Doesn't one change anything. breach. One yeah, breach. No, it's still. No, it's still two it's breaches. Still 
no shields, and this. five or more. Alright. Okay. Yay! Someone's getting hurt. Uh, no, not yay! Your friends are trying to kill you. I don't know that these are my friends. They're probably not. Probably don't know me. They're friends you haven't met yet. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Uh, Sumax <laughs> X-Rail. The weapons console blows up uh, up in your face and you go flying and, and across across the room and blood trickling from a cut above your your ridged eyebrow. We really need to install circuit breakers. I just I mean, we, you uh, really right? need to install cir circuit breakers. Where are surge protectors? Uh, and Cardassian. Ah. And your ship is grappled. Oh, any contest is is increase a uh, difficulty of two. Throw, so make friends. I'm thinking of electrifying the uh, mind melt, please. I'm thinking of electrifying the hull. Well, that's oh. one way to do it. Throw, just seduce the kraken. Well, we still haven't beamed off any survivors yet either. No, you haven't. Now we're kind of. We have much more pressing needs. Literally. Yeah. That's okay. Wall the shields are still. Yeah. Shit, since the shields are still down, like do that regardless. Right. Yeah. Probably just be complicated. To be I feel like narratively, before we piss off the crack. I mean, if we raise our shields, doesn't that just cut off its, uh, you know, tentacle? Uh, it doesn't cut it off. It'll push it away. Hey, but it'll still have a grip okay. on your shields. Yeah, it would just make the make the grip a bit looser, wider. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Something. Such does it still be on the shields? Is it player turn yet? Uh, player turn. Um, do you to beam, or do you want to go seduce the crowd? I think we want to beam off the first wave. Okay, so we'll beam off the bottom three that you listed off. I mean, technically, I already gave that order, so. Yeah. Just drop the shields, just, beam yeah. them over. We just rudely interrupted. Rudely yeah. interrupted yeah. Being in the, in the at transport. Yeah. Uh, they are not the on a pad. It's uh, very, very... All right, uh, Beth, control engineering, difficulty one, complication two. Yep. Transport as a focus. Yep. You can have eight threat. I don't want to give you more threat to a dip one past you. Onward, Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm going fishing. Yay. You don't have to. Since there's an engineering coming. I, I'm throwing I'm throwing that float into transporter locks on the next threat. And here we go. Yep. Then I'll, then I'll spend that and another one for transporter lock on the other Telluride. All right. I have transporter locks in the last four. Can we spin yep. the keep? You can spin the keep. I will use my direct to order him to transport the rest of them over. Or, or, or. I swift tap. Then you do that. Okay, what, what are you, you going to swift tap? Are you going to... Swift tap, do it again. Okay, swift tap, do it again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. then we can keep and you can direct to get the other order. one. Okay. That order of operations, that makes sense. Wait, you can take three actions. Although... No, it's only two. Only two. I can do two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Copy, copy, yeah. 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 
Yeah, so I'm gonna swap tasks to get to get the uh control engineering. I mean div two. Okay. Uh I'm gonna give you three threat, two for transporter chief, and one for both. Is it still comp two? Uh, still come to. Okay. So All right. Yeah, I, one. I, one I, second. Let me let me draw this up. Control engineering. Stiff two. <laughs> two. Uh, sensors. Engineering. And then you're spending three threat. Uh, two yeah, for two transporter for chief. chief. That and just brings the difficulty down by Dip one it. or two. 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 All right. So diff zero. Diff zero. Pass. Yep. Diff zero pass. I want the three die. Go fishing, let's go. Yeah, we can. So much, so much momentum. Now we can spin to keep and I can direct. Yes. Yes. As as Veth, you, you get the uh, last of the uh, uh, survivors of all three vessels onto your ship. And I'm gonna direct the. Uh, I want shields up, but my security officer just got hurt. Uh, minor action, get shields up. Minor action, then shields up. Nice. Yeah. Minor action, get shields up. Uh, okay, we're spinning. Keep. Sprell's turn. All right, uh, Commander, what are your orders? I, well, actually, I think I'm just going to take my turn then instead of direct. You, you can take your turn to, to direct. I could take my turn to, to direct, but I'm going to do the mind melding, so I'm just going to mind melt. You can always, you can always just switch past and then direct. Mm-hmm. No, mine melt. All right. Um, not familiar with this. Not familiar with this individual. Are familiar with the species, but has a really alien mind. And there's another trait that's interfering. Gift three. Oh, uh, comp two. That rate eight increases comp. Two. Okay. Uh, I have a trait of psychically resilient. You do comp standard. Presence command. I'm going to spend uh, two momentum and a threat to get to four. And I have telepathy as my focus. Telepathy I. I'll reroll the complication. That's fine. Got it. Got it flat. All right. In the middle of this harrowing in combat, as this tentacle is wrapped around the uh, 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 Gettysburg, or the uh, shields you know, pop up, and the bubble widens into the grip of the tentacle, although it's still wrapped around on the uh, ship. Thrill, you stand out, hold up your hand, say the phrase. Uh, my mind to your mind, my thoughts to your thoughts. As your consciousness merges with the Kraken. Hey, I know your uh, cousin from Fresno. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> Are you implying that all Space Kraken know each other? 
<laughs> I might be. Uh, what replace the... into your console. Okay. Oh, boy. Me. I had to shift uh, locations here. Give me just a second. Yeah. Console here. All right. Uh, oh, let's see. Checking console. Uh oh. Wait, what do you mean, uh oh? <laughs> My babies. Uh. Do we see again, babies? Uh, 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 again, and this isn't uh, conscious words. There's, these are feelings and emotions. We're about Instincts. To Remember the last time we encountered infantile space rockets? They were within something. Oh, like this right. giant subspace anomaly thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like a nest, wasn't it? Yep. Oh yeah, we, we didn't we do surgery with a phaser? We did. It was it was a thing. It was so a whole thing. So do I get the sense that that it is sort of protective, or is it worried? Is it are they in danger? Or, uh, hurt? What, what what's the feeling here? Um, I can clarify for one momentum. Uh, it is fussy. It is worried in a, a a way that is not immediate, but a, a kind of it's worried in a way that's it's not uh, immediate, but uh, more of like, oh, my child is is misbehaving and throwing stones at at Timmy. I have to intervene. Wait, is this thing? It's the kid that's Did the kid attacked the earlier ships. No, this isn't a juvenile tentacle. This is obviously an adult. Yeah, let's, I was like, "Whoa, boy!" That's, that's kinda, not what I meant. How big is the mama? <laughs> <laughs> this is the mama. We're gonna yeah. take her out. Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger boat. No, um, the is out here as to as to why. So I'm gonna send a message. Yeah. I'm gonna send a message of non-threatening safety, helpfulness, famili familialness. You know, all that kind of good stuff. We are not a threat. You can certainly try. Yeah, I'm going to try. And all right. So psychic, psychic. Mind. Yeah. Can't really think of a way to increase the communication. Resonance command difficulty five. Whoa. <laughs> well, uh, I will again use my psychically resilient trait to reduce that by one.
I'm going to spend my determination. Uh, the, to the value, leave no one behind. In what way? We are we are on a rescue mission here, right? Yeah, I'll take that. So, so leave no one behind, as in, 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 and don't leave the humanoids. Yeah. I also thought it could have worked for the babies as well. Yeah. Uh, but, if you want to include the babies, speak now. Yeah, I'll include the babies. Okay. Let's leave. Let's leave no one behind. Uh, so I was gonna spend threat. All right, so plus two, and then I'll spend. Uh, I'll spend the rest in threat to get the the four die. And again, telepathy is my focus. So here we go. We're rolling the complication, boy. It is just a night for these. Oh, there we go. That's better. Six seven. Uh, you get back confusion. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Sumax Rail L, L has a head injury. He, uh, three. Uh-huh. Uh, Satira has a job to do on the bridge. Hooray! I mean, not hooray because somebody's injured, but hooray! Oh, right. Person got launched. I mm-hmm. got launched. It's just a Cardassian. Okay. Head injury, you say? Head injury. It's weird. I lost the music. Did anybody else lose the music? I, I, I switched, really I switched the music. Oh. oh. I have a moment of yeah, kind of relative talk. All right, so Satir, Kumbaya. are you you hear the alert and you make your way through the uh, uh, tiny corridors of the Gettysburg, or, or through the hatch onto the bridge, and and Sumax Rail uh, is in the back of the bridge. All right. How 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 bad's it looking? Not too bad. About diff one. All right. All right. Control medicine, I assume. Yep. Control medicine, diff one. Sweet. All right. Uh, take a momentum. I'm gonna roll three. Focus in emergency medicine. Got it. Uh, three yeah, momentum generated. Uh, Cass. Can I can? <laughs> Hi. Am I being heard? We are hearing you. Yes, yes, yes you are. Uh, uh, yep, Sumex Rail uh, uh, wakes up at the uh, back of the uh, 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 bridge with a Cation nurse nurse standing over him. So, oh, uh, oh my good. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know why I cough every time I try to breathe. <laughs> so out of process elim- lim- elimination and, and you're playing Sumax. You got owied. Yep. I have to go from a person who disliked the Cardi's immensely to playing a Cardi. Yep. Okay. 
Okay. Same thing. My computer is not loading. Gotta pull up the sheet. Yes. Okay. There it is. There he is. Okay. Hello. I am a security person. <laughs> You're a security person. Last thing you know, a tentacle was reaching out of a black hole and smacked the ship. So, uh. Okay. So much for that roleplay moment. Yes. <laughs> uh, Zarkin. Let's see. Uh, what are, what, what are you doing in the middle of this chaos? Uh, ships grappled by a tentacle. Oh, uh, uh, Sorrel is standing in the middle of the bridge in some sort of mind meld. Have we gotten and, the crews off of both ships? Uh, it appears you got crews off both ships. Okay. But you're currently grappled and in the middle of this uh, creation dose. Okay. Like, part of me wants to do something to force the Kraken to release its grip, but I don't want to screw up what Sorrel's doing. Um, gosh, I miss my options. Um, Where, where's the tentacle goddess? Is it just wrapped around the ship, or...? Yeah, it's wrapped around, like, the midsection of the ship. Okay. How about this? Um, <clears throat> are our warp nacelles deployed? Yes. Yes, by default they would be. Okay. I would like to retract them and simultaneously reverse thrust as quickly as possible. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. That guy was playing Bow Rega. Say what? I thought guy was playing Bow Rega. No. Oh, 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 Zarkin, you can help with that out as well. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I go ahead and present that to. Uh, yeah. Hey, Bo, uh, let's do this together. As soon as I retract in the cells, you you forward and reverse. Is guy here? Guy went BRB. Ah, uh, all right. Sounds good. All right, so Bo is going to do a uh, daring and con. Uh, I'm going to say that is uh... actually let's let's flip that at, at script. Control. Uh, you could do a science override. 
not quite on the right console for it, but uh, you can make that happen. Definitely on a uh, range. That's a lot of count. To be fair, from what it sounds like, you're trying to move out of the tent pulse forever. So. Mm -hmm. Right. So, not quite as simple as retracts warp cells and then reverse. Right. Uh, control settings. I think I have any focus issues that apply here. Yeah. I'm back. Go ahead, miss. Oh, we're going to do something really cool. We need your help. You get a bow right on it. What am I rolling? Uh, Bo Regis is in with Darren Khan. Copy that. Does he have a what, focus uh, applicable? Dude. What Zarkin's Helm. plan is here is he's going to retract the warp nacelles to make us small, and then you're going to back us out of here. Yeah, it's a, yeah, that's epic. Okay. All right, uh, take one threat. Okay, I'm gonna. Um, uh, why are you wrong? Control security. It should be control science. Oh, shoot. I get the wrong thing. Wrong right. character? No, right character. Wrong Wrong uh, discipline. Yep. Uh -huh. Should I re roll that? Mm -hmm. Much better. There we go. There we go. Then engines come from the Gettysburg. Once, twice, I got it. This is coming for fire. Nice. All right, so three, four, excellent. Two momentum and I'm generated as. You, you bring the warp nacelles cells uh, uh, else together and and using maneuvering thrusters as as Borega, you're able to push back and and slip out of the uh, uh, tentacle. Peace uh, out, nerd. You have two float. Um, two float for epic spin. You can do making that. it making it difficult for it to making it difficult to to grab us again. I could do that. Uh, Venix, you agree? Oh sure, let's go for cool. Let's go for cool. Rule of cool. And then I'm assuming we're just dipping out of here, right? Well, you would think. Uh, no, you oh, got the other guy out. Yeah, we got everybody, didn't we? Uh, so those other two ships out. Okay. Hold, hold on a second. So, good news is, is you, you retract the nacelles, and it was briefly slip out of the uh, uh, grip of the uh, tentacle, all using in reverse maneuvering in, in thrusters, or as you roll back out of the. Actually, uh, yeah, you roll back out of the uh, accretion disc and and kind of slingshot your way a, a out, riding in backwards. However, within that accretion disc, one, two, three, four, 
as as you're, you're backing out the ship's being, being, being buffeted by by all this radiation matter or, or swirling around and at my high speed and you hear some bangs and cracks and 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 a, a crumpling ink sound as you, you back out. Uh, you drift. Uh, you drift out of the uh, uh, accretion in in disc. Uh, seemingly, a, a, you are mostly okay. Uh, you take five stress, which bounces off your your shield from the uh, uh, radiation. And however, something is wrong with the nasals. Can we crack him, script him or something? Can we tell what happened to him? Mm-hmm. Uh, it appears is that at when they were folded it in, and you were moving through the uh, a radiation in in shield, uh, the uh, inlets that at the nasals fold into you got warped and dented. You cannot deploy your 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 nacelles as at this time, and you cannot go to warp with, without them deployed. Well, that's you're stuck so, at you're stuck at impulse speed fine. until you can fix that. So if there's a couple ensigns down in engineering that are learning some new Tellerite curses. We just yep. we just impulse max speed away from this, and engineering can just work on the warp nacelles. We just, we just set a course he's in also, that direction. He's also yelling. He's also yelling at them. This is the reason why you can't trust all things in command. <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw that. that wait, the, wait, the, wait, how, wait. How is that my fault? Yeah, I'm, you're in I, command. <laughs> <laughs> you take um, the bad and the good, Captain Sorrell. So could I can I swift task to just fly as far away as I can on impulse away from the the singularity and the the kraken tentacle? Well, do we want to get far away if Sherelle is mind melding with this thing? I mean, maybe something to come of it. Yeah, I guess. I think as long as we don't warp away, I, I mean, we can't we can't warp. I mean, to me, to me. To be clear, the, the 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 range of telepathy is not specified. Right. Uh, I'll say a I'll say where you are right now uh, is still within range of uh, of telepathy. Right. Uh, well, can I? Is it okay if I swift task to get further away? Just we're we're out of uh, that getting could, away from that danger could zone. Cause, that could cause survival psychic damage. Well, how, that, that's that's like, what I'm trying to ask. Like, yeah, so right right now we're in range. If he moved a right. a zone away, would would that change that? Yeah. Uh, I know. Oh, you will have to find out. I think don't. Okay. We're out of range of the tentacle, right? I was gonna say so far. I, I can like go here. We can we can skirt or we can skirt this 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 entire circle zone. Yeah. To get out of the band beyond it. Okay. Uh, for for momentum, I mean, you can you can move like one zone um, further away. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Because like, technically, all this all this like right it's the same all distance these circles are yeah. all the same distance from the center point well i guess uh engineering's got to work on the warp yeah so, yeah you just gotta work on that can meanwhile I, we, we want to keep the momentum so you can get a roll on that or no well, meanwhile back at the uh, justice yeah. well sorrel oh oh what are you doing in this uh uh Mind, mind melds. Yes. Yeah. So how are the kids? <laughs> They're in school now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Time flies. 
but what, yeah, what would, what would you like to you do, at, do within this? So it was confused was the last bit that I got, and I'm confused by its confusion. So mm-hmm. it was the confusion that it thought we were a threat and then I communicated we weren't, and so now it was confused about that? Was that a reasonable inference from the uh, what I got? Uh, insight or reason command. Um, yeah, we're still pushing like diff three, diff four here. Uh, diff three. Reason command. I'll take that. Psychically resilient. Do you have two? I will spend three threat to, to get to four. Telepathy is my focus. I think that'll do it. Three momentum. Uh, it was confused. It was, it was because it thought you were his child. Oh. Well. So, its baby is missing. Oh, uh, no. one momentum. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. Or you what are you talking about? Here. You are her baby. Along with these these other two. What are you doing outside of the nest? It's your baby. Uh-oh. One, um, two, three, four. You know the fun thing about space krakens? We're the lake, not babies. Break the lake. Break the lake. We're not babies. <laughs> not babies. Um uh, Guys, I think the Toth stole some Kraken children. Or this Kraken is crazy. In a portal right next to you. Oh no! That's cheating. Krakens are really, really big. And they can travel through subspace and reach through subspace. Yeah. Yeah. I said, that's cheating. That is cheating. I admit. Uh, (laughs) Sorrel! Your crew is yelling because there's a tentacle pull outside. Well, at least we have shields up this time. Yep. Um, uh, you do have one more again. float. I don't so even though we're mind melded, it still thinks I'm, a, I'm one of its kids? Mm-hmm. Or we That's are one of its kids? Confused. It's... Um... I can clarify that. Uh, It doesn't recognize that the person who's mind melding with it is the same entity or related to to the the ship. The ship itself communicate that. Yeah, the ship itself is 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 a baby, and then you are just like some some person, some mind that is melding with it. Okay, gonna communicate. Uh, Not a baby. Not a baby. Are you sure? Don't shake the baby. I'm sure I'm not a baby. Yes, I'm quite sure. Oh boy. It's going to eat the baby. Uh, did we get everyone before this? Uh, yeah. this you got everyone. Yeah. Okay, uh, this ans- action will generate two threat. Okay. It's not gonna like me not being the baby? Yeah, now that we're not its baby. No, because then its babies are missing. Yeah. It's Final out. answer, Sorrel. Yeah, then why we am I giving you a baby hug? If we start being a threat. I will now rip you in half. 
Um, wh- wh- what if I communicated that we are, uh, we've grown up and it's time for us to leave the nest. Yay, little birdie got a fly. <laughs> little Kraken got a swim. Yeah. Little Kraken got a swim. Through some space. Can't do that right now. Uh, is this it? Is it there? You can certainly try. Then uh, I guess I will try. Let's see. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. That's not sure. horrible. That could have been far worse. All right. Presence command. All right, we'll get you psychically resilient to lower the complication to two. Okay. I am going to use. Yeah. Um, I never say. I'm starting to miss Lost. Really would have been coming handy at this point. <laughs> I'm going to spend. Four momentum, the rest in threat to get to five. Telepathy is my focus. Rerolling the complication. There we go. All right, so two, four. I thought if I had a bad thought. Several days later, Ross just gets thoughts, not the baby, not the Six. baby. <laughs> uh, so seven two motion and generated. All right. So tell us how how do you tell your mom that you're all grown up and you don't need her help anymore when she's uh, uh, a big scales boy now. as she's a <laughs> scale <laughs> six space cracking. <laughs> yep. No, we're we just we just it's we, not a phase, we've grown. Mom. Yeah. We're we're gonna put um we're gonna go we're gonna put purple highlights on the on the uh, on the hull. Um uh, some 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 uh circular metal on the um on the nacelles that kind of look like uh, earrings. Um and we'll say something along it's like um <laughs> of course we're ready. <laughs> Get one of those goth choker necklaces. Yeah, now we're talking. Oh my god, Sorrel's going through second puberty. <laughs> are, you, are you sure this isn't like a, sec- a second middle age crisis? I think it would be like a third middle age crisis for Sorrel. All right. Um, so, good news, Sorrel. Mm-hmm. Yep. You managed to skirt around and the uh, instinct that another adult cracking is a threat. Oh. That would have been bad. Yeah. That that would have been that a bad. Be bad. Sure. Um, but it's still keeping this tentacle a little, a little near, nearby as it's is kind of of wrestling with the fact like that wait you you just got here you can't you, you can't be growing up yet it hasn't been enough time has it uh oh now you're giving them a midlife crisis yes uh zarkin uh-huh. uh would you be so kind as as to do a uh, reason science diff zero can Assisted by sensor science. Well, at this point, it's very safe to assume that this Kraken has gone insane. Yeah, it can't. It can't identify us as Krakens. I think that 
it thinks that we are one, but it doesn't know what we are. Mm -hmm. This feels feels. Strange. Uh, sensor science from Gettysburg. Three. Uh, go to the round pub. Going once, twice. I got it. Fire. Can't wait for this report to get back to the band. Yeah, so we gave a space crack into the Clutch Crisis. Alright, two moments. Is having a, a mental crisis while Sorrel is connected to it. Uh. Zarkin, you, you don't think it's quite a, me a mental crisis? What does it appear to be? Uh, there is a, a strange blue growth of, on the exterior of the uh, Kraken now that uh, it's not flailing around to be able to get a good scan of it. Does the Kraken have space cancer? Is that a tumor? Would you like to know more? It's yeah. probably something that Toth did. Probably Toth related. Yeah, let's go. Mind control device or something like that. There's, there's like blue splotchy e, e gross on the uh, uh, exterior here of the Kraken tentacle. Uh, 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 biological means to control space Krakens, but we've only seen them use technological. So, uh, would you like to ask any questions about out this growth or the Kraken? Is it, you said there's just the one or more than one growth? There's several. It's It's all over. All over the uh, tentacle, oh. there's blue, 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 green ink splotches of, of weird growths on it. Interesting. Um, can I beam a sample of the growth to the science lab? Basically, do like a teleport uh, transporter biopsy yeah for two momentum okay uh yeah you you transport a a, a section in of of this weird growth off okay i'm gonna scan it to see what what what's, what's, what's the deal with it what is it as you head to ooh, ooh, the uh, science lab on the other deck, uh, what's everyone else doing on the bridge? I'm very concerned that we brought what we don't know on a cluster that we don't know the cause of onto the ship. I am probably helping because, uh, like, we transported all those people off. I imagine there's some medical things I might need to tend to there. Uh, yeah, I would have taken all you know, for precautions, you know. Not just, hey, I've got an open test tube of this stuff. Uh, for t for two momentum, you can and have a, a, a biofield. Okay. Yeah, have it like in a force field and everything. Yeah. It probably would have done my mental health better if you said that before you just beamed the pustule. It's I, fine. I should have said it, but I wouldn't have done it, you know. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what momentum's for. I'm banging on struts trying to get them fixed. All right. Uh, uh, are we actually attempting? Is that tentacle trying to grab us? What's it? What's it doing here? Uh, it is not trying to gr it, it grab you, but uh, as Zarkin has beamed a growth off of off of it and is going to the science lab to study it. Right, but I, I still want to not be close to this thing. So fly gently away. Why casually? So and non-threateningly away from this casual? thing? Sorrel? I am friend. I am friend. Please do not. Friend not yes. Uh, would, you like, would you like your ship to uh, fly casually away? Yeah. Nice and casual. 
It fits with the vibe of we're free to, you know, we're ready to go out on our own as we timidly walk now away. Now that the Kraken has proven that it has a wider base of itself, I don't think that we have to worry about our, our current range. Let's see. Formative. Freedom. Uh, presence con diff three complication in five. Hood. Don't mess up. This is for flying away. Yep. You make it look non-threatening as you fly away. Copy. How do we feel about acting as a focus? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go, baby. Diff three con uh, we'll give you a th three threat. Okay. Or four die. Um. I guess maybe maybe I should just do three die. Because it is comp five. Uh, you know what? Now we'll, we'll do four. Ooh, yummy. Tumatum and the uh, Gettysburg. Don't mind me. Let's go. Uh, one float. As very, very casually, you, you just like a maneuvering thrusters just kind of drift away. This just sl starts slowly backing away. Everything's fine. Non-threatening, like. Uh, you do have a float. What's what's that float for? Um, let's see. We're going away. Blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see. Do we do we think that this is another tentacle of the same mother tentacle? Uh, very likely, yes. Same. Okay. Part of the same creature. How, how many tentacles do these space krakens usually have? Is it eight? Uh, a threatening amount. Okay, sure. It's a space kraken kind of amount, which is right, space right. kraken. Yeah, but I literally, I literally just, I, I literally just spend threat and I can spawn a new one. Yeah. So it's a threatening um, amount of tentacles. Yeah, it's fine. Can we, can we say we, uh... Oh, we did set up a shielding or something on the mass, right? Uh, a scan of that. Can we spend to like while we back away? Like, oh look, there's a there, there's it's perfectly within our sights now. Let's do a scan of the tumor. Uh, that's already taken care of by Izarkin. Zarkin's okay. already cool. on top of that. And um, that's why I just let it go. Just all right. Uh, sit here. Three. Yes. Uh, you you have a, a a bunch of people all all in in your medical closet. Oh boy. Uh, two. medical closet now standing room only. Unfortunately, somebody is standing on one of the patients. Yes. <laughs> In fact, you might have to ooh, ooh, crowd into the uh, galley e -e for some of these people, or like open up a, a, a guest quarters. We, we have bio beds, but they're like bunk bio beds. <laughs> All right, climb on top. I have a broken leg. Well, <laughs> you have three arms. bio beds on a carousel. They get, they get rotated around like a turkey on a spin. As every one of these these people all seem mal, slightly malnourished, as little little little, deoxy, little deoxygenated, and stressed out, 
And this Tellerite I, I guy uh, is not a Starfleet uniform. He's a, a, a civilian in in a big blue ooh, ooh, overalls owls, and a balding head. And he is just uh, talking your ear out. Why, dear Air 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 she is mighty fine. I I'm a Starfleet's out here. Air Air White. I I am just so grateful oh, oh for you guys. That that ship wouldn't have it in France, Carolina, would it? What? Why, uh, yes, sir, he must speak Carolina. Yes, yes, well, all right, so the first thing I need you to do is I need you to lie down, because I need to be able to properly treat everyone here. Well, uh, uh, yes, sir, I'll do whatever uh, uh, you want. Uh, I'm a big friend of Starfleet. Mm hmm. Mighty that fine. Is, and... that, that is mighty fine, as you say. Now, um, if, if you don't mind, I do need to focus while I'm working. <laughs> uh, 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 it would be base difficulty E2 e to kind of uh, sort all these these people out, but Peaches is just talking a mile a minute and just us uh, marveling over the technology e e and and getting into things. E so diff three. Uh, they never trained you for this, Starfleet Medical. Okay. They never did. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then computers, medicine. That's because but, you didn't take the advanced psychology courses. But you do have a have a focus. Uh, I mean, you do have an advantage in with uh, medicine. Yeah, you do have a focus of emergency medicine, and you do have an advantage of a well-stocked closet, well-organized closet. I know where all five of the things in there are. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Uh, well, we've got a minute to spend. Take three. I'm gonna roll four. Uh, two, so you get two back. There's several people all, all, all here. Starfleet officers are are, are kind of uh, well worn, but they're are, are, are good for it. Uh, uh, and yeah, you're able to just get them on 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 fluids and and, and supplemental oxygen, and they'll be he right as rain. This Tellerite, however, er. Um, you are not quite sure how he's still standing. His blood alcohol level oh, is is in the "Are you sure this guy's alive?" stage. Oh, um, sir, if, if you wouldn't mind holding still just a moment here, and I'm going to sedate him. <laughs> uh. Yo, he's, he's like on fire. Uh, uh, yeah, da, 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 uh, daring medicine, um, base difficulty e e one, uh, uh, bump it up to two and three because of of traits. Can I have an advantage of? He said he liked Starfleet. Would do whatever I asked him to. Uh, yeah, for two momentum. Cool. Yeah, do that. Uh, diff two, please. Diff two. All right, and then take a momentum, and I'm gonna roll three. Oh no. Uh go look at our uh, our values real quick uh, see what I could spend to he's a junkie for sedatives 
<laughs> okay, what are our mission directives? And can I spend did, on them? Because I don't not, have any value. Did you, not, did you not spend any momentum? Spend a momentum. You are cautious. Oh, I forgot I have uh, Oh, yeah, I do have cost. Yeah. forgot about that. Wait. Is this the center of does? Oh, there yes. it is. How it's supposed to miss. How it's supposed to yeah. Right, it's because I put the other thing in the traits. That's why I was looking at the wrong fields. Okay, I'll fix that later. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> what was that complication? There we go. Uh, yeah, it appears is that uh, you definitely underestimated the uh, uh, liver of this is Tellerite, and you were going to way over under er, er, dose him. And but uh, you you dose him once and he's like, I oh that tingles that was right 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 there mm -hmm. just like Mama used to hit him uh, and the other side of the neck and he collapses. All right, <laughs> what on earth is wrong with you, you medical marvels? He's a teller, right? He's a. Do uh, Tellarites have a higher blood alcohol tolerance than other species? Uh, reason is in diff zero. Come right up. I think it's more for the fact that Tellarites are stubborn and. They're, ra they're actually rather sturdy. Uh, they I are rather are sturdy. Sturdy. They do have a, a higher blood alcohol uh, all tolerance tolerance than in normal people. But he had blood in his alcohol system. He he, he should not be conscious with the uh, level of alcohol he had. The only species that could theoretically uh, theoretically have the alcohol in their system that he did would probably be Klingons, only because of their Redundant systems. Mm hmm. Yeah, this man could probably drink a Klingon or underneath the table. Probably has. Mm hmm. Makes a mental note to up the dosage of his medicine. He wakes up like three minutes later, starts talking to her often. Also, does Starfleet have like an anti drunk shop? You do. Yeah. Okay. Can administer. I don't exactly that. know what it would do to somebody who who seems to function on such a high level of alcohol system. <laughs> give, him, give him a quick shot of the uh, "Don't be drunk yeah. anymore" you might, juice. Yeah, you might want to also give him uh, some things to uh, you know make sure that he doesn't just go into shock from the lack of alcohol. Oh yeah, that too. All right, yeah. one more roll, and then we'll oh, bounce back to the bridge. Fantastic. Control. Medicine. Uh, diff three, because what is wrong with this man? <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I'll take that. Um, oh, can I get an advantage from having just, just looked up Tellerite biology? Yes, diff two. Fantastic. I, I think the list of what isn't wrong with them would be short. <laughs> All right. Take, it kind of makes you. It kind of makes you it, it wonder or, or what he had on his freighter. Oh but. yeah, that, that is a good question. Something to worry about later. Um, for somebody who's above my pay grade, mm -hmm. uh, take a momentum. I'm going to roll three. Got it. In a moment back. Yeah, uh, you are able to stabilize him and he'll be sober if and when he, he wakes up. All right, those guys are taken care of. Uh, back on the bridge of the Gettysburg. What's the rest of the crew doing? doing 
I am banging on struts to get the work, these work cells back into functioning order. Just go outside and push them on with your feet there, you know? Yep. Put you back against the hull. Come on. Them. Okay. Uh, Sorel, what are you up to? Uh, am I still in contact with the... Uh... The uh, space kraken, or have we broken that contact? You are still in contact. All right. Then I guess that's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, Sumix Rel, tactical officer. Kind of haven't had a lot, lot, lot to do because we haven't shot anything yet. But this is certainly <laughs> a tense situation. This. Standing there ominously, hand on my phaser. <laughs> one hand on phaser, one hand on the console, ready to shoot thing. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do ooh, Veth, then S- Veth, then Zarkin, then back to Srell. So. Beth, you're you're just banging on things, things to get these nacelles like back open. These, they're they're bent, so yes, banging them back into their proper shape would definitely do it. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some. some we we'd need a if they're if they're if they're really fucked, they, we'd have to go back to a star a star base and get the right out to fix them. Yeah, that's part of the problem is that uh, this is almost yeah. a dry dock uh, cop- operation, or at least land yeah. on a planet and EVA a to fix it. But you might be able to fix it from the we inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're you're close. You're like three light years from the closest star system. Okay. Well, emergency repairs as a focus. Mm-hmm. You could have a threat. Would I have the engineering team as a um, advantage? For two momentum. Yeah, let's get rid of that comp. You don't have a lot, but you have like a small team that I can help out. I have enough to get what I need. Yep. I have three ensigns and like two NCOs. And the ensigns are confused by what's go- what this chief has been doing the entire time. <laughs> and why he is in charge. Onwards and downwards. I can re-roll that. Yay. Got it. Uh, after some banging and clanging and, and colorful all, uh, tell the right swear words, words, uh, uh, you, you managed to, you're actually like crawling within the sub, the, uh, sub hall all section. So in between the outer and inner hall all, and, and you, you are just bracing, bracing stuff and, and cranking thinking Jax to pop this as hall back out. And eventually a, a with a resounding clang, the a hall rings like a bell and the knee cells, cells pop back out. This, this one poor female Edson on his engineering team has had their ears be pink the entire time. <laughs> listening to the Tellerite. <laughs> Spend threat HR HR report. <laughs> he's an older. He's, an, he's the a medical wing. What was that he's, noise? He's from, a, he's from an older generation of Starfleet. Yep. <laughs> uh, back on the bridge, Edge. Uh, uh, Sorrel. It seems seems that uh, uh, you have warp capabilities back again. But, uh, uh, Zarkin, yep. got it. You, you, you make your way to, um, science lab is, is, is kind of, I'm stretching it. Uh, science door here. Another closet. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's quite a closet. 
Uh, no, it's 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 about the size of a, like a standard or, or classroom. There's there's a, a couple desks and, and some isolation chambers, and in one of those isolation chambers, there's is this uh a blue filament thingy that is 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 floating, and there's blue sparkles coming off it. Oh no! Um, unlike our med our medical bay, we have a very nice science science lab. We have a yeah, you have three. a science of three. This is, yeah, this is a pretty good <laughs> uh, and set up. On par with blue, with blue filament sparkles coming off of it. I know what this is. Uh, it's, uh, a frickin- uh, it's a freaking. It's a mycelial spore infection. Well, we got to burn the kraken. Okay, so I'll do an analysis. Uh, what is it? Uh, science. Yeah. Reason science difficulty to sensor science. And the uh, ship. Nice. Two. So you get three momentum. Uh, one of those is the float. Spant sensors. This is is P. Stellavatory, also known as as the mushroom of the mycelial network. Immediately flags the Rel's console. It the the kraken has athlete's foot. <laughs> Subspace athlete's foot. Yes. So it's either come in contact with the mycelial with the mycelium network, or it's been exposed to it by some like, other source. Or the mycelial right. network has come in contact with it. Yeah. So um, we can replicate a giant bottle of tough actin to actin, right, and get this taken care of. <laughs> in theory, yes. There we go. Um, question. 42. Something bad happens if subspace entangled mushrooms die, right? Uh, burned, I wouldn't test we've that. Burned them before. You've burned them while out there in in our reality. Yeah, normal space. Yeah. Yeah, not, not ones that have been not one that has been moving actively through subspace uh, attached to the uh-huh. kraken. Yeah. So yeah, it's probably not going to be good. Probably going to be like a warp core detonation. Uh, actually, for one momentum, and I can, I, okay. I can talk more about that. Um, there is a subspace component into P Stella uh, uh, of Atori. That's like kind of why it's I, I it's so neat. And there's a an entire realm, a uh, subspace realm, um, that the mycelium is and stretches, stretches out. Um. Burning the stocks in our dimension and uh, won't do that much damage so long um, as it's a small amount. Now, if you were to, I don't know, oh, like burn an entire planet's worth of it, it, it that could it'd be a, enough of an energy burn to, to travel into the mycelial subspace realm and do damage there. But this amount, amount shouldn't do Destroying I mean, this small amount that's just on the uh, Kraken shouldn't it, it do that much damage. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Alright, can we come up with some type of, uh, I don't know, some type of antifungal agent to help this Kraken? Huh? Uh, so Rel's probably still got the counter, the counter agents that Fox used to destroy the for the growths that we found previously. Yeah, I wouldn't be he, he buried that much. 
Because the mycelial network is a, a, a known um, phenomenon. It's just that it hasn't been explored that much. Besides that one time in the 2250s where there's some kooky scientists tried to travel through it and ended up blowing up two starships and killing 400 people. And so, Starfleet no. would be under, under orders to either contain or eliminate any strains within our reality of it. Yep. And we have done that before. So, control science difficulty to you to pull up that far. Okay. And take uh, one threat. You have the uh, antifungal ol- formula. Uh, it will have to be a fitted it either to the. Yeah, it has to be fitted to a torpedo. Okay. Proceed with that. Beth is going to be modifying the torpedo. Got it. Hey! It's my turn to do things, to do the torpedo modifying. Not three this time. <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, ah, the brain is not working today. Uh, Zarkin, and, and you can, and go to the bridge and report this to Sorrel. Uh, Sorrel's like half in here, half, half in the Kraken's mind. One eye is open, one eye is closed. Half yep. of his mouth is, 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 only what, is the only part that's speaking. Left ear twitching every so often. Cyril either forgot he's muted or has been lost to the void. Cyril? Yep, awesome the way it is. Well, that goes to the next highest rank, so go Rega. Um oh we st- I still don't have orders to leave yet, right? You do not. We- I know that that was spoken about in the chat but not been given yet as an order, right? So But you yeah. would but you would understand as a command officer that the my seal network either needs to be contained or neutralized. Or the mycela spores rather. Yeah, well how yeah. how are they kind of floating oh, Sorellis? They're attached being? to the Oh he's the Kraken. Yeah. I'm back. Well I lost audio there for a bit. We we have we have the uh, counter agents for the mycelial spores. Oh, good. Deploy. Get on your orders to do with it. Okay, modify torpedo. I think we can do order. All right. I just need the roll. Ah. Uh... Stop cursing us. Yeah, let's make this a uh, whole thing. Everyone, I uh, can get involved with this. Social science. What uh, fun things did you do in your RPG last night, kids? Well, <laughs> we cured space athletes. <laughs> yep. Uh, Zarkin, go ahead and give me control science difficulty two to replicate the payload. All right, uh, Veth. Yes. Control engineering difficulty three. To equip the payload. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have my 
my focus is really applied to this. So I'll just give you a threat. And operate. And no. Oh. Okay, no, roll 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 back the re-roll. Uh so the other way around first. Uh a chief's work is never done. Yep. I've been running around this shit the entire time. Roll those two. There we go. I got the tree. All right, you got the th three. Uh, torpedo is loaded. Uh, Mortea. Yes. Uh, Sumix Rail. Oh, oh, we'd like to fire the torpedo. Okay. Um, no threat on this since since the payload's been and put out. But uh, difficulty three, increase the comp because the payload's non-standard, uh, and then weapons and my favorite combination, weapons medicine. Uh, Sumix has not been given anything yet, so it's just taking a look at what he has to give him something that was out. Oh, he does not have bold or cautious security. A few, Marte Martea. How, how do you think That's this guy it. fires? Um. Wait, sorry, you just cut out for a minute. What was that last thing? Uh, how cautious do you? Cautious or bold? Yeah, cautious or bold for our our Semix rail. Okay, let's say uh, his talent. Old. Nice. Fights boldly. Nice. That's Cardassian. There you go. Thank Give you. Give some nice sweet, sweet rat. Let's, let's uh, I'll just grab one extra die for three. Okay. Um, I would do focus and starship tactics. Uh, let me double check. Maybe. Open. He does have uh, fix, but the only other things he has is ground and uh, investigation. Yeah, ground and investigation. So like, I'll, I'll take starship tactics. Fix. Uh, yeah. I'll just take it. I'll take a threat for that, and then you can use it. Okay. We can reroll the the zero. Good progressive. One of the good ones, at least. <laughs> As the torpedo uh, goes away, a impacts X on, on the uh, tentacle and burst into a uh, cloud of healing medicine. Throw. In your mind, Link. Yes. Uh, what would you like to say? What would you like to do? Oh, uh, so we've uh, fixed the athlete's foot problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, we fixed it for one tentacle at least. 
Um, there you go. Open helped. Uh, go ahead. Insight. Command. Difficulty four. Uh, actually three. Diff three. Okay, uh, psychically resilient to reduce the difficulty. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, two momentum, one threat to get to four. Telepathy is my focus. Mm -hmm. I think I got it. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> oh, you. Or here, so you have loot. Um, that momentarily confusion comes back, back again, as the kraken suddenly didn't quite know what it was doing or why, I I it was as as doing things. So it seems uh, to. Have cleared up its um, confusion about what its children are. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, again, sort of communicate. There you go. Happy to help. I swear, officer, the shrooms made me do it. Um, if you can uh, take this Yelp survey, um, uh, if you were satisfied with your um, service, uh, that'd be great. Yeah. $5 Helps coupon, you're next person. If you could do me a favor and leave a five-star review, that would really help me out in my career. Three out of five. Make sure to like and subscribe, five, comment down below. We were giving yeah. three out of five tentacles. Service wasn't quick enough. But uh, yeah, Never it seems, seems that the uh, Mycelial Network or their Overbloom was confusing it and messing, messing with how it perceives he ships as its infants. Cool. Would you like to know more? Any other questions you want like to ask? More. So, how does it have any idea how this happened? How it got kind of intermixed with the mycelial network? My impression is that they don't tend to run in the same subspace or spatial locations. Layers. Yeah, layers. Um, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can ask for our one momentum. Oh, it's they don't normally run in the uh, uh, same layers. It is aware of the uh, mycelial oh, oh, network, but it's like lower level than, and it likes to you know, hang out because it does weird things like this to it. Gotcha. So how did it end up there? Uh, the mycelial network is growing in, in locations that it shouldn't. Mm. Wonder who's responsible for that nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Does, yeah. Does, does, does this count as eco-terrorism at this point? And it does. Technically, yes, because the mycelial network is an ecosystem. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Well, we've got that. We'll get them for that charge, too. Subspace weapons and now... Eco-terrorism. Eco-terrorism. All right. Um, so, it's, so basically the mycelial network intruded into its territory and then infected it. And that's mm -hmm. where we... where it uh, started... But spaceships and thinking they were babies. Gotcha. Yep. All right. Any other? I don't think I've got any other questions. One that the Kraken can answer for us, anyway. It's not going to be able to be articulate complexly enough to give us kind of concrete answers as to a lot of what's going on. Mm hmm. 
I, I'm just going to send good vibes and break the connection if that sounds uh, okay. Good vibes go rest <laughs> right. up. Peace maybe, and love, King. Peace and love. Maybe, maybe move right. to another area away from this balloon. <laughs> for for two momentum, you can, you can send good vibes and peace and long okay. life. I'll stop. <laughs> yeah. <Good. laughs> two momentum for good vibes, Queen. Yep. Uh, you are such a girl boss. Have fun. Like, like these rooms are going to be enough good vibes. I'm going to go. I'm going to go eat something. As the tentacles else retreat back into the uh, singularity, and it folds else of space and and returns it to its normal configuration. Great, um, sick bay. How are our um, rescuees? Uh, doing quite well, Commander. Although. I do have concerns about the about just how much alcohol was consumed by uh, our resident Tellerite civilian captain. Well, what Tellerite, the Tellerite civilian <laughs> Tellerite civilian captain suggests at least certain certain level. <laughs> is it is it is it above the normal amount? It would have been enough to kill a Klingon, sir. So a little bit above the normal amount. You could say that, yes. Well, do your best to treat him. Um, is everybody else still unconscious? Oh, they're all still recovering, yes. I sedated them until the treatment's recovered. Some mental good, oxygen good, good. and some fluids and vitamins. They, they should be up in the next 12 hours, sir. Well, can we get back to the scavenger in 12? Uh, not in 12. It'll be a couple days. You're like 10 light years away. So a couple days. Uh, so a couple days under, Doctor. Is that what I understand? Two days under? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I, no, no, sir. It was 12 out. Although I do have one request. Um, <laughs> out of the sake of my patience, I'm wondering what was on that civilian freighter we beamed him off of. It seems like he's done nothing but drink for the past five days. Um, I guess we could get a sensor scan of the cargo hold of the civilian ship. For one momentum, I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. Um, still... So... The computer is really, really confused and tags it either as a medical antiseptic or a war crime. <laughs> what was dead. in the cargo I'm hold? <laughs> what was in the cargo hold might have been peaches at one point in time, but is now our moonshine, the likes of which is unheard of, of across the galaxy. This moonshine is so strong, you could power a warp core with it. You could dump it into an engine and hit warp two with this moonshine. Dear God, so, how strong is this moonshine? So, can you bring some of it back with you? So, so Cousin <laughs> oh, Jim's over, over in uh, New Nashville is, is going to love this, this stuff. Yes. <laughs> I, think, I, I, think, I think the plan was probably to tow the. We can't tow both of them. Ship's too small. We'd have to send over skeleton. We'd have to send over a couple crewmen to pilot them. Can we? Do we have a hangar bay? Can we dock the Not roundabout? Big enough. Gettysburg? Not big enough. Not big the, enough. A runabout is almost as big as you guys are. Okay, never yeah, mind. Remember, we can only we can hold maybe one or two shuttle pods. We can't. Right. Can't, we can't. We can't tow or uh, dock with that. You can. Maybe. You can flag the Sweet Carolina uh, for. Uh, a uh, rescue ship to come tow it to the nearest star base. Ooh, ooh, All right. Ooh, ooh. Two momentum. It's barking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Barton is the nearest. Happen Barton so happens to be, be happened to be nearby. He just so happened to be in the next system over. He could be here in like an hour. And he'll he'll get paid a good amount for hauling back a civilian freighter, right? Mm-hmm. He nope. shows up. He's always uh, drunk. <laughs> always good. Always good for uh, Latinum. <laughs> yeah, start billing Smith directly every time he has to deal with us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, all right. As uh, the Blaze of Glory uh, uh, contacts you at the uh, edge of the uh, network. Uh, yeah, Gettysburg. Uh, happen to be nearby. I guess I, I'll, I'll come pick that up in an hour or so. Excellent. Uh, if, if you guys want some, um, if you guys want want to sample some uh, moonshine, I uh, yeah, I'll take that at for a momentum. You can have some samples of it. <laughs> like, just take a yeah, cake off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Beth, that's that's definitely gonna you know take that. We we will be partaking in the taking. Probably drink a quarter of the barrel by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Roll will pick a keg. His ex is on but, the ship. What yeah. was was my joke correct? Did that dude just spend like the last five days doing yeah. nothing but drinking? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Going through that so, supply. Not, not just the last five days. Probably the last fifty yeah. years of his life. Oh my god! Oh my god! Three. You just took away like like seventy five percent of his blood. <laughs> I cannot emphasize how drunk this this man is and how how powerful that moonshine so, is. I, so I've, I've heard I've heard of getting high on your own supply. This was getting drunk on your own trunk. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! Amazing. Master at your own still. So yeah, uh, uh, the Blaze of Glory responds uh. on Sorel. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll we can swing by and, and pick that hat up. Shouldn't be need that much of a an issue, as long as there's, there's platinum for it. I'm sure you'll be compensated um, uh, adequately. I I want to imagine that that really is just keeping Zarkin just off screen, but Zarkin is constantly chattering it. I <laughs> need all to say hi for him. Actually, yes. Two threat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Mister Zarkin. Uh, hi, Mister Barton. Hi, Mister Barton. Mother says, Mother says that you can come by any time for her famous pie, and cookies, and cake. She'll fatten you up real good. Uh, you, you're breaking up, Gettysburg. You're breaking up, but uh, we, we've got the we've got the mission. Uh, the the blaze glory out. <laughs> All right, and with that, uh, you can bring the uh, uh, Yaro out and tow. Uh, uh, we will deal with the awkward reunion in next week. Fun times. Uh, Fun times. What's going to be awkward about it? Zarell and his ex having to, having to chat again. Zarell bringing his ex back to the scavenger to deal with his wife. It'll be fine. Zarell is now trying to stab me with his mind. You said you had three hyposprays of uh, sedatives there? Was... <laughs> well, 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 only one now. I had to use no. two of them on the, uh, uh, on the killer, right? I, mean, I say things that are true. Uh, okay, so totally... <laughs> Totally a distracted it, it from this, but uh, yeah, there's a biohazard in the Stavanger or er, uh, transporter bay. Oh yeah. Did we call? Yeah, we call the janitor. Should we call the janitor? I mean, I don't... we're in a medical lockdown. So somebody <laughs> let Deshaun know he'll start whipping up that cure again. Where's Ensign? Where's Where's Ensign Stabby when we need him? Instant Stabby! He has to do his actual job and clean up this mess. It's just a... Sweet! Oh, so uh, biohazard, you say? Bio, so that, biohazard. That's what we're and picking up next week. We're picking up with this next week. Uh we could quickly. No, I, think we're, I think we're 
think we're fishing we're, this we, and then... We already know what the queue is, but, but what the yeah, queue is yeah. so we just need to distribute it. Yeah, you just need, need to distribute it. But, uh, oh, Benex, oh, okay. uh, -huh. uh, I'm, I'm taking a swing at you. We put him in cuffs. Oh, he's, he's punching. I'm punching. He can still No, we, we put him in cuffs. Or oh, you did put him in, in cuffs. Yeah, uh, I can. yeah, he's still, right he's still trying, he's still trying to attack. He's just going to headbutt you. No, I mean, oh, so he has, too, so, uh, he has increased his, his difficulty and complication. But at the same time, he's trying to punch, he's trying to headbutt Clay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You're gonna get a yes. phaser you're rifle butt punch, to the forehead. Punch the golem with your face. Sure. Daring security opposed. Uh, I have increased diff of one. <laughs> okay, focus in hand to hand combat. Yep. You succeed. You have to use this momentum against him and have him just slam his face into the back of the transporter room. And go ahead and take a threat. Uh, yeah, I'll just spend that at threat back. Uh, you win, because I had an increased diff, so you gain one. Nice. So, uh, yeah, roll, roll melee damage for that rifle putt. Another oh, strike? Guys. Mm hmm So, if anything directly to the threat, that's an idea. After Goodness. Oh, that. Okay, then. Uh. Uh, he yeah. does have armor on. That does not cause, cause an injury. Would you like to reroll? Oh, sure. That's what? One, one momentum to reroll those? One, one, remo uh, one momentum seven, to reroll zero. those zeros. Is that right? It's like. No, it should be like six. So it's so six. Oh, did that's. Put, did you actually put a six in the box? Yeah, I'm supposed to put a one in the box. That I'm actually as the. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that yeah. should be a one for unarmed strike. Okay. Yeah. Like, what are you hitting with a truck? <laughs> <laughs> Not even Fox hit that hard with an unarmed strike. So that we wouldn't need to re-roll that many then, huh? Uh, just, yeah, just uh, go ahead and do the unarmed arm strike again. Okay. That's still better. Uh, that is better. I can re-roll the zeros too for what I want. Mm-hmm. Do it. All right, so four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you crack the rifle all, all over, or over, over his head, Ed, and and he's he's able to kind of roll his head, Ed, and and redistribute the uh, a, a force to his shoulder. So oh, still takes the stress, not down yet. Fine, I'll shoot him. Uh, heavy, heavy stun. You can certainly do that. Uh, control security. Uh, diff three since he's already in melee with you. Okay. Faith is taking up their rage on the universe. <laughs> Go ahead and take a uh, go three threat. I'll reroll that with bone. 
Wow. How I would you like? To, how would you like to do this? I'm gonna put the tip of the phaser rifle right in his chest and pow. The universe is in the corner crying. Begging <laughs> you to stop. As yeah, uh, 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 you you fire that uh, uh, phaser shot at point blank range, range, and send him and flying and tumbling off the pad and then on, onto the floor here next to Mateo, and he is unconscious. Doctor, I think you have a patient to make sure it isn't irreparably damaged. Uh, yeah, one thing. I'll get to him eventually. Uh, about that biohazard. Uh, Venix. Uh huh. How did it feel to to shoot that guy? Uh oh. Uh, oh no, Venix is going down there one <clears throat> He was a threat. He had attacked us with a bio weapon. Attacked me personally, and needed to be disabled. And he was disabled with the force required. Everybody knows Breen take a lot to put down. So. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't did, think did... it was overkill. Yeah, I don't think there's any signs of, of uh, no. over overkill here either. But did, did, did you enjoy it? By the phaser butt to the head. No, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it. It was just yeah. needed to be done. Just just uh, pure, purely by the job. Yeah. Use sufficient force necessary to deal with the threat. But but you know, oh, oh, the brain did like defile all your 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 world back there. What was it really, the brain that did that, or was it the the uh, that particular iron colony that mm -hmm. messed it up? Mm -hmm. No, I really, I don't have a grudge specifically against the brain. I'm not happy with the iron colonists that basically wiped out yeah. all the uh, neurosions. Anybody could have ended up on that planet with like an outpost. Right, yeah. Just so happened it was the brain. Yeah. But No, I'm not. Yeah, sure. there's there's definitely a uh, a moment of pause as you kind of uh, recalculate uh, your your actions and kind of I think am I doing this for the right reasons? But well, you're, think so. you think so? He's not dead. He's not dead. No, he, 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 he did a false surrender. He did a false surrender and then dropped a bioweapon on their ship. Like, come on, not. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's a double war crime. That's one, yeah, more, it one is. more strike and it's airlocked. Like, <laughs> yeah, if I didn't think Smith wanted him alive, he would be dead. <laughs> right, yeah. All right. Uh, guy. Yeah, kind of, um, kind of two problems here. Yeah, obviously, call to medical. Obviously, let them know about the prion situation. Um, okay, so present get to Sean. Get to Sean to get over there because he had experience with the prions on the planet when he went down. Um, and then have them be me in a, a personal medical kit so I can. Take a peek at this guy. Make sure he's not gonna like Did die you or anything. Heard that Benix punctured his suit at any point. I don't know, but I'm sure I can. I'm sure, I'm gonna find out. Uh, Princess has the difficulty too to call the um, medical yeah. quarantine. Uh, copy. Would you accept uh, emergency medicine here for kind of coordinating the? Uh, the emergency of the medical. Mm -hmm. Copy. I'll give you one momentum for a third die. Um, I will not fish you. In the momentum. And back. Uh, quickly get on the uh, uh, a comp badge and, and, and call. Uh, yeah, what do you say over the comps? Uh, this is uh, Dekos, um, uh, medical emergency alert. Um, 
uh, quarantine transporter bay. We've been infected with prions. Um, seal off all ventilation. Um, uh, no one is to come to the door in any way unless I clear them. Um, all uh, interaction will be through uh, beaming items in or replicating them here in the transporter bay. Uh, keep the medical channel clear so that I have direct lines to the med bay. Thank you. Uh, uh, doctor, here's the thing. Uh, my shift is over. So, you know... I'll let you, you know, think about what you believe the best choice is to do in this situation. <laughs> I've got it. Don't worry about it. There's a Somebody shot already in working in the lab. Somebody in the back. I think the doctor would be very much appreciative of you and maybe... He'll go out on that thing with you that you've been wishing for for the last five no, hours. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I was, uh, I was being petty, Officer Cashway, at the moment. <laughs> no, but, I you know, being I, Stone. <laughs> I can switch to Love Stone. <laughs> That's what no, I no, was no, going no. for. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I've got all the puns ready to rock and roll. So. <laughs> oh so goodness. Right. All right, lockdowns and, and done. Having... Yeah, have them send me a medical kit. So you or call, so you the call them. So you call the medical lockdown, so you can be alone with me. I'm sure. Uh, See, so no, I can, I the, can do it. The lockdown, go there. We the lockdown specifically <laughs> is keeping me away from you currently in this situation. Love uh, you have your med kit on you, you guy. Okay, cool. Copy, copy. This makes the heart go fonder. Uh -huh. I'll go check out the Breen guy. Not, not an expert on green physiology, but, mm, but anyway, is not. there anything stopping, stopping Cashway from just transporting this goo out into space and being done with it? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll resolve Guy first, and then we'll we'll, we'll, we'll transport away. Gotcha. Uh, uh, so I'm just want, I want to investigate him to see if he has any sort of like uh, you know, any sort of uh, breaches in the suit. If he's uh, bleeding out, like, you know, any other major issues other than the fact that he also exposed himself to prions, which maybe his suit is able to... Uh, control his... medicine, Diff 2. Copy. Uh, I'll give you a, 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 a momentum for a third die. Uh, investigation, potentially, as a focus. Uh... Investigation and would tell you, uh, tell you more about uh, if he's exposed to the prions, or not. Uh, emergency medicine will uh, remove the uh, injury from him. Okay, we'll, we'll do emergency medicine first. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't want to give him points of stress back, so I'm not going to do first aid on him. Okay. We'll keep yeah, him he's unconscious. Just remove, remove the uh, uh, injury. He's, he's still unconscious. It's uh, yeah, just basically massive uh, uh, neurological stun damage. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, you're able to you know, clear up? Uh, his suit is still hermetically sealed. Okay. Nice. Blank space or fire did not blow a hole in it. But no. Um, and so, due to it being hermetically sealed, we can assume. Well, I don't know, because he said now we both have something to blah, blah, blah when he dropped the prions everywhere. I think that was what he was what he was getting at. Right, the but I'm, themselves. now we both have something to lose. Yeah, yeah. But he probably is not exposed because the suit is sealed. Mm hmm. Cool. All right, well. I, I think his was more grand scale. Well, right. Our base. We'll lose these right. people in the room. Could be kind of funny if you break that hermetic seal. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Oop, pulls out scaffold. Oops. <laughs> I know I started the rampage, but I'm concerned with the energy in the room. <laughs> No, we'll 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 leave that as a back pocket type of. What, wait, wait, what happened to do no harm there, Doctor? Dude, the Hippocratic Oath is for pussies. <laughs> the Doctor is carrying his his uh, intelligence agent right now. I'm concerned about the Doctor. 
All right, last roll. Copy. Control medicine. What is uh, this one? Uh, this is to uh, uh, clear up the uh, uh, prions and, and make sure everyone in the room is is uh, oh, copy. safe. I'll, I'll give you a, a momentum, the best threat to go up to four die. Uh, toxicology, virology, yes. Make sure yes. we do this. And, um, oh, you know what? Just just because it is the last roll of the night, I'll do the termination on it, because why not? Um, let's make sure we succeed. Um, I'll do uh, either Haunted by the Past or Looking for a Shot at Redemption. Looking for a Shot at Redemption. I'll take that. Copy. Let's do it. So I guess. Oh, so I you owe me three so I more. Guess I'll give you. Well, I was gonna say four four die total, so with the determination. Okay, so roll three dice. Copy, and then the determination is plus one, and then I'll be roll the comp. Gotcha. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. This one. As as you are able to contain the uh, final desperate br uh, bluff of the uh, uh, Breen. Mm -hmm. Uh, the. My transport room um, is thoroughly cleaned up by the uh, uh, medical uh, staff. At Venex, you're able to drag Ag, Ag this is thought uh, down to the, the uh, brig Ag, for questioning later. And Carl from Sanitation. Nice, yeah. <laughs> or Crewman Carl. We we definitely get one of those like old school physical wash baths, you know? Yep. Decon showers. Nurse Lovejoy is overseeing it. <laughs> Pay special <laughs> attention to Guy. Like, please. We get our decon gel sing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I tried desperately to, like, find the, the most secluded spot in the gel shower. Yet you could still see her face. Just <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll get uh, Carl one of those free e-recognition cards. Oh yeah, they, they're <laughs> doing a great <laughs> job, Carl. He, he you know, yeah, they, last day, and, like three bottles of Chateau Picard. Uh, thanks, 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 Commander. Uh, you know, just here doing my thing. I'm gonna go put a gold star on his door. <laughs> All right. Uh, Amazing. so you have, uh, bring capital ship in, in, in custody. You have, have the Gettysburg are coming to a return. Uh, let's see what's up with that station. Yeah. Uh, the station is, uh, uh, two moments I'll tell you everything. Yeah. Yep. That's yep. Because we're at the end, so just spend. Just spend. Uh, uh, the a station is an unmanned and repaired station, and it basically folds folds in on itself. You tow it to a location, and you can yeah. unfold it to make a dry dock anywhere. Interesting. So this is not a scan of that. Yeah, this is not a permanent a, a base for them. Interesting. It's a smart idea, though. Mm-hmm. We gotta definitely do some scans of that. Yeah, that might that might be a big project for us getting something that we can attach to the ship and just deploy the base. That's repairs. soup. Yeah, it's a good idea though. Yeah. Oh, that'd be epic. Having one that yeah. we bring along with the scavenger. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Have have a mobile repair base so yeah, that we don't have bay. to go back to Narendra or one of the other stations Dude, constantly. We become the best exploration ship ever. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think Arthur is regretting his decisions again. Mm-mm. It's fine. Did, did, did you put this here knowing that we would do something like that? Pay no attention to the man behind the screen. Pay no attention to the man behind the screen. I've already, I've already cut down the curtain. We see the man in full display. And with that, we'll end awesome. tonight's episode. Beautiful. Yeah. Yay. Oh, God. I, I just want to punch some green. Green medical yes. emergencies in one episode. This yeah. is new. But <laughs> yes, first. Next, next, time, next time we get reputation rules and I have to get rep, I'm going to start that project. Absolutely. Yeah, that, uh, sounds, like a, that sounds like a fun one. Yeah. Like could, could be fun to reverse engineer well. that. Yeah. Uh, oh, and, with, and with that, the credits will roll. Be sure to catch us next week, Thursday, 7 p.m. Oh, here on Twitch to catch our next adventure on the frontier. Thank you to our awesome players tonight. Music provided by Kevin McLeod. You can check out his royalty free music at acomptech.com. As always, we're forever grateful to Motivius for giving us the tall ship and to Gene Roddenberry hey, for giving the stars to guide us. Yes, until we meet again, go out and find your next adventure. Thank you.